want you guys to see what Rebecca and Ryan are doing right now. This is actually really funny. <laughs> this is the one that I like the most. Jalen's too modest. That's why I'm here. Just a year ago, Jalen embarked on an adventure of epic proportions with a company called Lipsets. Fast forward to now. <laughs> <laughs> I made up that last part myself. <laughs> Are you practicing for uh, your I'm audition practicing. today? You know, I'm. this is not my comfort zone. Yeah. It's not. But part of me feels like it's a very good thing to be out of my comfort zone and do something. Does anybody else know why it smells like poop out here? He did it. No, <laughs> she, she opened up the Tupperware and I no, without It was a Tupperware. Was it was like had beans in it. And she opened it up and I almost puked and it was over It there. smells like death out here right now. It's the trash can. <laughs> okay, well you keep auditioning or practicing for your audition. What I'm saying is I think it's good. I know that this is a good thing for me to get me out of my comfort zone and to stretch and grow because I've been so nervous. Yeah. So you don't get this feeling if you're not pushing yourself. Yeah. So That's I'm pushing myself. Good. And maybe it will turn out great. I like how you're in a robe and slippers. Did you like how my shoes are different? Oh, I didn't even notice. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Ryan, do you like these shoes? Yeah. <laughs> ah! Ah! You're a crazy this person. Is cool. Oh, that is nice. Now the kids can't open it all the time. But the thing is, I, what I need to get is I need to get a stopper right here so it can't be pushed to a certain degree, so it'll be always top. Oh good, I like that. Then we can get rid of that stone, huh? Yep. Yes. Because yes. this is dumb. Okay, let's I agree. Move it right now, because I can never get through here. Yeah. Hey, I was in bed. Sometimes when I'm getting ready to have a baby or go to an audition, <laughs> I'm jealous of him because he's not nervous. <laughs> I don't go outside my comfort zone near as often as you do, <laughs> and I'm comfortable with that. <laughs> <laughs> but it makes me want to push you out of your comfort zone so you know how I feel. <laughs> Should I yell out the window at a homeless person and say something strange to make you feel awkward? I don't know. <laughs> how are you really feeling though? We're almost to your audition right now. I'm feeling like I'm going to be fine either way. It's hard, I think, thinking that... Here's the thing. We have YouTube, right? And we have our different channels and they are what we make them. We are our own boss. We don't have anybody over us with a thumb over us saying good job, bad job, don't do this, do this, you know? Basically, we can do whatever we want. And sometimes that's a bad thing because now I'm not used to anybody saying they like it or they don't, you know what I mean? Yeah, that makes YouTube, me a little bit nervous. With YouTube, but... you just be yourself and either they like it or they don't, it doesn't matter to you. You just. You just are who you are. That's right. You're not gonna have anybody say, I'm sorry, do that again because that sucked. <laughs> You're like, what, be me again because I sucked? <laughs> Actually, they don't say that to you today though. <laughs> we'll see how things go. I think we're here. You know what? It is what it is. If I make it, I do, and if I don't make it, then I don't, and oh well. We'll see how I feel afterwards, so. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. Look at what we're doing. Do you know what we're doing? We are we're making, making a volcano. volcano. We're gonna cut a yeah. line all the way to this, and then we're gonna move it in, in a certain way, and then we're gonna have our volcano after we cut the hole right there. It's almost done. He's jumping around having fun. And always let your conscience be your guide. I'm gonna put a line in it, and we're gonna cut it to the middle right there. We'll cut it to the center, and we're gonna cut a circle right out. Alrighty, here we are. Sweet, you know what this does now? We fold it in, Do like... Do want this side to be the volcano side? No. Or this side to be the volcano side? Uh, this side. This side, okay. No, 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 no. Whoa, the other on, side, on. the hold other on. side. Hold on, I know what you mean, I know what you mean. I just gotta fold it. Ha ha! Our volcano! Fold away, lava! We're making a volcano for surprise for our mom and dad when they get back. I think we'll need glue gun glue for this one. Whoa, it's a volcano! Okay, how you doing? Good, good job. That no, Charlie, stop smelling it. <laughs> Look at this volcano. <laughs> we are going to do a chemical reaction. Baking soda. That's right. Do you know what this is? 
Do you know what happens when you put these two things together? They explode! So we're gonna put some baking soda in here. Yeah. Oh, that's a lot of baking soda. Pour it all in? All of it, quick! Oh! Oh! Well, it looks like we didn't do anything but stay in our car since last. Oh! <laughs> we actually did go out and audition just now and tell us how it went, baby girl. Big mama. Oh, don't call me that. <laughs> I don't know. I think that you should, first, I want to hear your opinion and then I'll tell what I think. Because Michael was standing outside the door the whole time and he heard what was going on and how it went. And I think it would, be, it would do me good if I heard what he thought first. I already know what I feel, but I want to know what you think uh, without hearing what I think. No! Then I guess we're gonna be stuck like this forever! <laughs> it's a stalemate. <laughs> so honestly, I was really impressed, actually. Really? I was really impressed, but mostly because you did it. You, like, like you, you auditioned, you said the part, and then they're like, okay, now do it like this. Okay, now do it like this. Okay, now do it five different ways. And you had to like come up with the ways. And I was listening, I was like, uh-oh, how she's gonna do. But every time you did it, you did it a different, unique <laughs> way. And I was like, wow, she's actually like saying it a different way every time. That's pretty cool. And then he was like, okay, now tone the energy down and do it again. And so you did, and you did a great job. And they were both like, that was it. That was, that was perfect. Like, they were so happy with you. And they're like, okay, now take that same energy and re-say this over here. Like, they were coaching you. I think a lot of auditioning is also compatibility. Like, can we coach you? Can we work together and have you actually do the changes that we say? And you, you nailed it. I felt really impressed. I like hearing that from you because I was just like, you know what? I'll just do what they say. Whatever they say, I'll just do it, whatever. I almost have to not care. Because I care so much, I almost have to not care about it. You know what I mean? Or else I'm going to get offended or mad or or something like that. So I was like, okay, whatever. Just do whatever, I don't even care anymore. I don't even like this. I don't even care about this game anymore. I was <laughs> JP Sears. Now that you said what you think, now I think I did a lot better than I thought. Well, that's why I wanted to hear your opinion first, because no. I already knew my opinion. Um, I think, to be brutally honest to myself, the first one I was not happy with. I read it and I was nervous and I was shaking and I think it, I think they could tell and I was like, dang it, if, they're, if they only let me say this, I'm gonna feel horrible. You know, if they only are like, okay, that's enough, goodbye. But they didn't do that, they were like, okay, now try this, now try that. And then I feel like the more they coached me, the better I got, the more comfortable I got. I was like, okay, I can do that. Okay, and I just did it, you know? Michael, what do you think my chances are? They said there was really only one other person that did a really good job. Yeah. They said they had a lot of people that tried out that didn't do very good. They said your chances were 50-50. They said my chances were 50-50, right? As of now, they have more tryouts today, so there might be somebody who does a much better job than me, so I don't know. Yeah, we'll see. At this point, whether you get it or not, I still love you, and I still think you're amazing. That's all that matters. Well, good. I'm honestly just so relieved to have it over. <laughs> I was like stressing out so bad. Anyways, <laughs> it's just, it's really nice to be sitting here right now and be like, it's, it's almost like just the relief of being like, now it's up to them and whatever happens, I'm okay with because I did my best and that's all I could do. Hi Ellie, how are you? Are you making a big mess? <laughs> did you show mom and dad yet? <laughs> I hate that! <laughs> <laughs> it's like art
Well, I just got done picking up James from Hopkido. How was it, buddy? So I'm gonna go swing by right now to the P.O. box really fast and I'm just gonna check and see if we have any mail. It's kind of been crazy ever since we got home from Becca's audition. She's just kind of been trying to recover. I think emotionally it really drained her doing something so hard that she's never done before. So she's at home with the kids. They're getting dinner ready to go. I'm gonna swing by since I'm out and about to the P.O. box and then we're gonna head home and get the kids to bed. Okay, we're here. Have you guys ever sent us a letter before? It's P.O. box. 322. Feel free to send us a letter anytime you want. Alright, let's see if we got anything. Ooh, we got a letter. Are you guys coming in here? Yeah! yeah we're we're coming. Oh, looks like there's a letter in here. That's it. Just one letter. Who's it from? It's unmarked. An unmarked letter. I wonder. Is that the right people's? I don't know. Uh, that's weird. No, they're not in there. Are you sure? Yeah, yeah, that's just it. That's kind of strange. I wonder if it's like a note from the P.O. box. Oh, uh, that would make sense. Hi guys, how's dinner coming? Oh, my You guys eating? We got a letter in the P.O. box. A letter? I decided that I think you need more help here at the house. Thank you so much. I have a runny nose and I'm not feeling good. <laughs> so we decided instead to go check the P.O. box and we found unmarked letter. Unmarked. I don't know why there's an unmarked letter in the P.O. box. I don't know, maybe it's a note from the post office? Why don't you open it up? What is it? Does it say something? Whoa. What does it say? What does it say? Read it. Your family has been under our observation for some time now. Your message to treasure family is lost in our reality. This is our final attempt to bring it back. Every one of you play an important role in making this happen. Rebecca, Michael, James, Corbin, Elizabeth, Charles, Ryan, and Jessica. Will you help us? And then it says yes or no. Will you help us? Yes or no. What does it say? Oh. Heroes of the fourth dimension. Heroes of the fourth dimension? What the That's heck? That's really weird. <laughs> let's go with yeah. That was just, that was just <laughs> in the- Go get a pen and let's mark it and see if anything happens. So that was just in the post office box. That's really weird. What do you think it means, Corbin? I don't know. That's really weird. This might be a treasure hunt. Let's mark yes. Are we sure that you want to do it? Sure. But we got it from a weird, like it's unmarked. Who knows who it is? I'm curious. <laughs> Maybe some weirdo put it in there. Let's do this. All right, follow your lead then, baby. Will you help us? I'm marking yes. What the heck? Is there, is there anybody there? Huh? A letter? What? Is there anybody out there? No, another let's, letter. Let's open it, let's open it. Another come letter? Here. There's nobody in the front yard. James, come here. This is weird. This hey, is Gary. weird. Uh, <laughs> Charlie? Gary. It's Gary. Gary. Oh, it says something on the back. <laughs> so, it says something on the back. And it was like a T. What is it? Oh, it's dust. <laughs> oh, it's a spider web. So the second. That means it's old. That's so weird. The second that you marked yes, yeah. the doorbell Wait. just instantly rang, Wait. and there was nobody Wait. there, and there was another note. Oh, what I'm the? Gonna heck? Go. I'm ready for bed. Or we don't have to do what you're doing tonight. <laughs> uh, well, let's see what it says. That's kind of crazy. One? Whoa! Read it. I want to hear uh, it. Heroes of the fourth dimension. Ah. You want to read it? Let the other one go. Thank you for accepting this mission. Our gratitude is overflowing. While we knew you would say yes, it had to be your choice. What's next? Get packed. You leave on Thursday. Prepare for 10 days. Further instruction will come tomorrow when you're ready. We're Dave. leaving on Thursday? Does it say anything about where we're going? What's next? Get packed. Further instructions will come Thursday. tomorrow Prepare when you're for ready. 10 days. Dun, dun, dun. <laughs> Tell me honestly, what do you what do you think about it? I think that I don't know if I'm ready for a trip for 10 days. <laughs> do we even have enough money for 10 days? <laughs> Sounds... More instructions will come tomorrow, I guess. I guess. Thank goodness. <laughs> well, let's go to bed then. What do you guys think about that? Would you guys get packed and go if a mysterious uh, letter showed up on your doorstep? Heroes of, the fourth heroes of the Fourth Dimension. You guys missed it. Last night we found some strange notes anonymously left that say there's going to be a trip. 
Your family has been under our observation for some time now, it says. Your message to Treasure Family is lost in our reality. This is our final attempt to bring it back. Every one of you play an important role in making this happen. Rebecca, Michael, James, Corbin, Elizabeth, Charles, Ryan, Jessica, will you help us? And then on the back it's signed, Heroes of the Fourth Dimension. So the second that we marked yes on this note, we checked the yes box. Literally, the second that we checked that box, the doorbell rang and we found another note on our doorstep. It says, thank you for accepting this mission. And we didn't ring the doorbell. I don't know who did. There was nobody out front, but there was just a note on our doorstep. It says, thank you for accepting this mission. Our gratitude is overflowing. While we knew you would say yes, it had to be your choice. What's next? Get packed. You leave on Thursday. Prepare for 10 days. Further instruction will come tomorrow when you're ready. So that's our focus today. We're getting ready for this trip. Hopefully once we're all packed and ready to go, we'll get another note with further instruction. So we'll see what happens. Good morning. Hello. Hello. Good morning. How are you? Doing good. Guess what? what? Today I opened up a new lip sense that is the only lip sense I've ever used the entire thing of. So oh. I got some more sheer berries. That's your favorite one, right? Yeah. Right. Good for you. But good since for you. then I think I've still discovered more favorites. <laughs> okay. That was your first original favorite? That was favorite? my first original favorite. So you're getting ready to do some shopping today? Yep. Because we got a lot of packing I have organizing. no idea, so if we're going to be gone for 10 days, I've got to get a whole bunch of like road trip food maybe, I don't know. I think the focus today is going to be getting the house clean, getting shopping for our trip, and then packing for our trip. And doing laundry. And doing laundry for our trip. I just barely went to the store, now I'm back. I have a lot of groceries and a lot of things that I've planned for the trip. I have no idea where we're going, but I do know we're probably going to need food. I got a lot of snacks, food, and a lot of stuff like that. I want to make sure everybody's fed on this mystery trip that we're going on that I have no idea where we're going. So we might as well have food so we can live. Now I got a whole bunch of stuff and I'm actually really excited because I looked up on Pinterest. Road trip foods or road trip snacks. And so I got a whole bunch of those things and I'm ready to show you guys. Okay, I'll tell you what they are. But you all have to sit down on the floor right here so I can tell you. They're lunch bags. Lunch bags? Lunch bags, and Charlie found the bananas. Check it out. Bananas! <laughs> 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 Did you find it? Are you so happy? He's like, you guys can keep your lunch box. <laughs> so he actually brought those lunch boxes in as a distraction and so that they would just let him eat a banana and not get after him. <laughs> um, you want one? Why is mine Jimmy, different than Jimmy, all of theirs? Jimmy, Yours, you got a different style. Jimmy, is yeah, that good? Go Charlie, go eat that at the table. I love that. Take this off. Go. Go to the table. Hurry. No. I yes. Love this movie. No. Yes. For your paws only. <gasps> for your paws for only. For your paws only. That's pretty cool. So it's only for me. Mm. I guess so. Oh, is that oh, what does it beautiful. say? Beautiful. What does that it says say? says Anna and Elsa. Huh? So I'm going to show you guys what I've decided to get that I think is going to be really helpful for all of our stuff. First off, I got these bins. These bins are specifically measured. I went out to our van and in between underneath the seats, there's a space that's pretty big. And I was like, I want to use that for storage while we're on their trip so that the van's not like flowing, overflowing with so much stuff, but that it's actually a little bit organized. Okay, what they've just gotten into without asking. I went to DI and picked up a few books for the road. What do you guys think? It's really scary about <laughs> a spider. Ah! Mama! That's Ariel. <laughs> Is that Ariel? Ariel? Uh, if I didn't know any better, I think you guys were all really excited about these books. Got it organized a little bit better than before, and at this point, this is pretty much, I think, gonna work pretty well. In this one, I have mostly, like, baggies, silverware, some little condiment cups, 
These I got at the store. I'm really excited to try for Charlie because he always dumps everything out. Kind of fill it up with some cereal and hand it to him as a little snack cup. We got granola bars, paper plates and bowls, water bottles and cups. And the thing that I did with these water bottles is I'm gonna take the lids off of these ones and put them on here, almost making little sippy cups for the kids. And I don't want them to have giant water bottles because we all know that on a road trip, kids need to go to the bathroom about a million times. <laughs> Next, I've got apples, peanut butter and jelly for bread, oranges, these little cheese, cheese it grips, little crackers. And then over here, we've got apple sauces. And I always loved these little cheese and cracker things when I was a kid. So I have extra bread because I know on this trip we're gonna need more. We're probably gonna have multiple lunches with peanut butter and jelly <laughs> just because the kids like it. It's easy. <laughs> this is kind of the refrigerated section that I'm gonna be putting in a cooler. But for now, just to show you guys what I brought for the trip, this is where I put it. And cheese sticks and celery that I'm gonna chop up into sticks. The kids would probably love to have a book or two to read and then I was like why don't I just go to the thrift store I never remember to look for books at the thrift store so I went to the thrift store total these books cost six dollars and fifty cents for all of these books and these are like pretty thick card books this one is like a really big one lots of books in it and then this one is a set of a whole bunch of small books frog prints Rapunzel that type of thing so I think between all of these books the kids are gonna really really enjoy having some things to read on our road trip and then I also got them all lunch boxes because they've never had them and I think they'll all enjoy a little bit of individuality like to be able to carry their own lunch or pack their own anyways that's what I got that's the grocery haul for this mysterious trip we're going on what is all this junk hey, don't Dad. don't look at all this junk guess what I found <laughs> it's bad. Dad. what and it is for my bug trap you, are you guys cleaning up this car Oh cool! Mom found this for me. Dad. All sorts of treasures when you clean out the van, huh? <laughs> I found this. Gotta get this thing all ready to go for our trip. You're amazing, baby. I love you. Cool, sweetie. This is treasure. Good job. I'm glad you guys are working out oh, here. What is going on in here? That could be you've been cooking again, baby. <laughs> be nice to me, or I'll never cook for you again. <laughs> Even on the good days. Ah! Oh, we got a smoky in the house. Oh, the tray. The tray. Oh, supposed to cook them on these? no, that you are, but maybe you pushed it up against the wall, and that's why it started burning. Oh, because I did nothing spilled. No, nothing did spill. See, it's not my fault. <laughs> Wait. Look at the bottom of this pizza. That was bad. It, it was, actually was on fire in there. It was burning in the oven. It was on fire. In and there. if you look underneath the pizza, it's like black to a crisp oh, underneath so this sad. thing. And you know what? It wasn't in there for that long. It caught on fire. <laughs> it pizza! 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 <laughs> exactly as I imagined you in my mind. Happy! And a pig face. I was gonna ask, did you draw a pig? <laughs> then yeah. you said, it's you! Mom. <laughs> it's you, Mom. That's Thanks. cute. I feel so flashish. <laughs> we got a pretty big pile of laundry here that we're getting ready to organize and sort and then start packing into bags. We're making good progress today. Yeah, we are. I love that we have a whole day of packing and cleaning and preparing and shopping and all of that stuff. That's good. You've done amazing I so far. I van, I packed it with food and a lot of stuff that we need in there, and now I'm gonna be doing a lot of other stuff in here. Cool. We're almost done, and then we can hopefully get a letter! <laughs> well, for the most part, the house is pretty clean. We've got a lot of packing going on here. Becca is wiped out because it's the end of the day, and she's been working her butt off. Oh my goodness. <coughs> So show us how you pack this thing, I'm curious. Okay, let's say I wanted to make an outfit, but I did not want to have, okay. A problem for me on trips is that I get overwhelmed having to change the kids' clothes every single day. Obviously you can tell by how little they change. They've probably been wearing these same clothes for three <laughs> days in the vlogs. Anyways, so 
on trips, what I like to do to eliminate the stress of that is plan ahead by picking, say, these two things, even though I wouldn't put them together because it's camo and stripes. Anyways, <laughs> what I would do so that I don't have to put it together and I can just say, hey, go grab your clothes, or I can say, hey, go grab one of the outfits for Charlie to Michael if he wants to help me get the kids ready. So what I do is I grab a shirt and I fold it in half, and then I grab some pants, sometimes underwear, depending, because I sometimes I undo it if I want to see the front. So then I just roll it together and I put a rubber band around it and there's a whole outfit for the kids and then I can just throw it in there. It saves space. It takes up a lot less space because it's so organized. So are you, so show us this bag, what you got going on so, here. So it said 10 days and Charlie definitely needs a new outfit every day because he will destroy them. <laughs> <laughs> so we've got on this end for Ellie and Charlie, Sunday and Sunday. The next thing is an out, uh, PJs and an uh, PJs. <laughs> I don't know why I'm saying. And then you just got a whole bunch and more then outfits. One, two, three, four. Warm and five, bathing six, suits seven, and stuff. Eight, nine, ten outfits for Charlie here. Still waiting on a couple outfits for Ellie, but these are all Ellie's. These are all Charlie's. Some shoes for Corbin. I'm getting ready to start his next. Then in this pocket, I have everybody's swimsuit and everybody's underwear. All right, community underwear drawer. That's right. All right, here I've got sunscreen like the rub-on kind the spray-on kind and aloe vera just in case and I don't know <gasps> that's I've been looking for that go put that in my room okay cool so you're just putting all the kids stuff in one big bag for everybody absolutely I would rather not lose a bag and have a kid in tears yeah so this is easier for me to keep track of just one huge bag and I pack it so I know that they're not gonna go butt naked you're amazing at organizing when I try you've done this a lot of times <laughs> I guess huh I have. I feel like I'm getting better. I do it a lot nowadays. Yeah. <laughs> it's been a really good day. We've been really just working all day long, packing, organizing, cleaning. Just got done vacuuming everything. We had dinner for everybody after the burned pizza fiasco. <laughs> But I think I think for the most part uh, we're getting ready to put the kids to bed and I think we're ready to go. So I mean all we're waiting on are a few clothes that, to finish off packing. I think we're ready. We haven't seen any notes yet or heard the doorbell ring or anything like that. Have you guys what heard anything? Rings like a little I thought I heard one but right after we're right done. The, we're I think it's in a different ring. What if it rings after Does you go to bed? Two notes. Do you think there's going to be another note tonight, or do you think maybe we're, we didn't do it good enough? Well, I think what was really cool about last night is it was almost like it appeared out of nowhere. Yeah. We never saw anybody. It just showed up. It was just there. That was really cool. We should have looked through that window. I wonder if it's just going to appear at some point. Like, maybe it'll just pop up all by itself. Tell you what, guys. I'm going to send you guys to bed, but if we find it, we'll tell you, okay? Okay. Okay. And if you find it, you guys find it, or you see it first, tell us. All right? Okay. Cool. All right. Okay, well, we're gonna get these to guys to wait. bed. First, just go to bed. <clears throat> I'm gonna keep the camera close, and if we see something, I'm gonna turn it right on, so you okay. won't miss a thing. Guys. Okay, guys. All right, Ellie. I found a letter right here. I found a letter right here, and it was not open. Really? Yeah. It was just laying there. I did not notice that. It was. Were you laying down in your bed and it? No. It just appeared there. Are you sure it's not the one that we already opened? No, it's 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 closed. It's not open. Well, let's go show mom. <laughs> That's strange. That's weird. Wait, so you were laying down in your bed and there was nothing there, and then all of a sudden you you got up and there was something there? And then I got up and then looked there and it was there. It was just laying there. Can I open it? Let Corbin open it. Oh, it was because on Corbin's bed. Okay. Because I found it. Okay, and you know how to read. Oh, it's another one! No oh. way. Another clue! How did it just materialize in your bed when you weren't even there? Okay, okay, everybody listen, everybody listen. Good, you're packed and ready to go. Get good sleep tonight, you'll need it. Tomorrow you will begin a trip that will help us restore our family treasure. Be brave, this will not be easy. Even those of you watching at home will play a part. Yes, 
You too. Whoa. Does that mean like our viewers are gonna play a part? Heroes of the Fourth Dimension. Heroes of the Fourth Dimension. It's the That's so crazy. When does it Did it say anything about where we're going? Here, no. I want to look at no. it. No, no. Can I look at it? No, it's it's just a day. It's open. It's done. It doesn't say anything about where we're going. And it says, you too. Even those of you watching at home will play a part. Yes, you too. That's so crazy. It does. Well, I guess that's it. I don't know how they got it in Corbin's bed while he was laying there. And I don't know how they got our reality. Even those of you watching at home will play a part. Yes. Oh, good morning. We got good sleep last night. The van is completely packed with people and stuff. Yay! Yay! Woo! Yay! We have no idea where we're going. Yay! Yay! We're going to the post office. Yeah. First, actually, we do know where we're going. We're going to the post office. We're going to check and see if there's we'll another note, note there. I don't know. We're going to see if maybe there's another note at the post office because there's nothing at the house. We really don't know where we're going. Yeah, we checked. So nothing. we're just going to go check and see if maybe there's something there. I don't know what to expect, but we'll see. But we're packed for 10 days. That's right. Yeah! Charlie, we were getting everything packed, but it took so long. Yeah! All, all the kids have been sitting in the van for like two hours, just like waiting to go. <laughs> they did it. I didn't. I was and just like, okay. By the time we were getting here. almost ready, Charlie was like, go! Go! Like, he was like trying to get me to go, but you were on top of the van. I was like, I can't go, Charlie. <laughs> <laughs> also, I think this is the most organized we've ever been for any trip ever. At least this long of a trip. Honestly, we've never even done this long of a trip. Ever. No, I believe kids. we have, guys. Oh, this is yeah. the first whole family, yeah. though. This is yeah. cool. No, I'm pretty sure the rest of the time it's only been eight Mom? days. That is the longest we've ever done with just me and you. But ten for the whole family for sure is the longest we've ever oh, yeah. done. Absolutely. But That's exciting. really exciting. And everybody's yeah, in good spirits. Yeah. I think everyone's excited to see where this trip takes us. Hey. Yeah. We'll All right. Here. You guys stay in here. I'll leave the car on. I'll be back in a minute. Okay. Will he be back, Charlie? <laughs> Will he be back? Yay. Hey. Hey. Well, he got another note. He got one. Well, yeah. actually, uh, this isn't a note. This says, "Do not open on camera." It's from a. a oh. Yeah. What are we gonna do? See, it's a letter. Do not open on camera. Yeah, on the back it says do not open on camera. Okay, <laughs> looks we'll like I guess. This okay, later. but what are we gonna do? Where are we gonna go? I don't know. Everybody, look around you in the van. Maybe we'll find one something somewhere. Is there? No. Nothing slid in the DVD hole. Yeah. <gasps> oh! What? It fell. From your he found it! He found it, guys! I, I think this is it. You found it now! Did you guys put this there? No! <laughs> Ellie, oh. she's like, <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, maybe this is further instruction. Okay. On where we're going today. Oh, this is so exciting! We have no idea! Just so, this is so crazy how the notes just like appear. Well, and the, that we're like really flying by the seat of our pants. We're like, okay. Let's pack for 10 days. Let's take see a what of happens. Faith and just follow the process and see what happens. We don't know. We could be we could be going anywhere. There's another one. Heroes of the fourth dimension. What's it say? Okay, it says, Good morning, Beach Family! What? <laughs> yeah. Keep your spirits high because we are watching. What? We are depending on every one of you to show kindness and patience in your mission if your mission is to be successful. Today, Please you are like going it. to Sin City. Sin City? Uh, Sin City? Las Vegas? Cincinnati? Not Cincinnati. <laughs> Sin City. I think Las Vegas is called yeah, Sin City. Yeah, Las Vegas is called Sin City. Be true and good. You are staying at Red Rock tonight. <gasps> they are expecting you. <gasps> oh. Red Rock. What? That's it. Okay. Heroes let's, of the fourth dimension. Let's look up let's look up Las Vegas Red Rock and, just, and see what it just is. See what happens. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Woohoo! How far away is that? Woo! 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 Say woohoo! Woohoo! Yay! James and Corbin say woohoo! Woohoo! Ryan and Jessica say woohoo! <laughs> Red Rock is our clue. And by the way, does anybody else think it's super creepy that they said we're watching you? Well, then it's like.
like Santa Claus, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> well, I don't know. In a white van. We'll see. Hold your arms. Okay. Our dear Heavenly Father, we're so thankful for this beautiful day. We're thankful that we're able. us and uh, maybe you guys can go run to the room while I go park the car and bring the rest of the group. Cool, how exciting! Hi, how are you? Good. Thanks. Thank you. Wow. wow. It's so sparkly, huh? It's sparkly. B A C H? It's like the ocean. Sounds great right now. Oh, look at that. <gasps> wow. Look at this place. All right, stand right there. I'm, I'm holding on. Okay, we're going to level 17. Oh. Oh. <gasps> big right here. 17. Okay. This is our floor. Come on out. Oh. Okay, guys, hold my hand again. Oh, that's far down. Whoa. I, oh. I think it's closed, but we might go there tomorrow morning. We see pool too. Wow. Oh. So cool. This see, is pretty cool. I think I see Utah. <laughs> I think. Yeah. <laughs> That's funny. I think we're almost there. 124. <gasps> okay, guys. I think this one is ours. Ooh. Oh, wow. This is our room. This is ours? Yep, it is. <laughs> What do you think? Oh, guys, don't touch any of this stuff, okay? I don't want you to touch any of it. Are you okay with that? Yeah. Yeah, you can touch it. These mm -hmm. are the beds we're going to be sleeping in tonight. Mm -hmm. It's going to be so nice. Mm -hmm. <laughs> something to beep so we can wake up. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> something to, to beep so we can wake up. You mean an alarm clock? Michael Beach. Wow. This is pretty cool. Let's look over here. Don't touch any of that stuff, remember? Why does that say Michael Beach? They knew we were coming. How? I don't know. And we also we have a bathtub with 
We do? It's a safe. And look, there's even a robe. Wow, this place is fancy. Oh, well, this is exciting. I'm gonna get the reaction to when they first come and see it. Stay in here first. <gasps> they're here, guys, they're here. Are you ready? Go over there and say surprise. Hello, everybody. Hi. Whoa. 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 Look down. Have you guys looked down with the camera? Here, yeah. So scary. Holy cow, there's so many don't pools, so many pools. Yeah, don't lean on the glass, that's yeah, scary. Can't get out, because you guys trapped me in here now. <laughs> don't lean Holy on the glass. cow, there's so much if stuff. If we push the glass and it, it Whoa. Will, will Crazy, have you looked outside the window? That's a lot to take in. Yeah, yeah, if don't we, press on the window at all. If we fall down there, we will die. Yeah, that's why you don't press on the window. <laughs> He's on that giant bed. Yeah. Media center. Yep. Well, we no, don't. No. Oh. No. <laughs> Going to get some dinners. I'm really excited because I'm probably hungry. Are you scared? I got you, baby. Ryan, would you like some pizza with that cheese? <laughs> <laughs> so this pizza's almost gone already. These guys demolished it. They are demolishing it. Good. They are demolishing it. What did you get, Rebecca? That's so funny. Did you get Panda Express? That was my idea, and you said no. That's a terrible idea. There's no, nothing better. But this is good, huh? Yeah. Good. Brown rice too. Hey, can't beat that. No. It's pretty scary being here in Las Vegas with four kids. Uh -huh. I'm so happy that we have four adults yeah. to help take care of the four kids because otherwise it would be crazy. I'm pretty sure Ryan's head is about to explode because he's so <laughs> nervous. <laughs> Ryan gets even more paranoid than we do. <laughs> yeah, we're good through. Well, we're going to get eat some food and then I think we're going to, I don't know if we're going to explore, just go back to the hotel room and get these kids to bed. The pool was closed when we got here, so I no know. pool tonight. Can we get so that's really, really sad. She's got the mama seatbelt going on. <laughs> so he can't escape. And yet he's still trying to be a noodle. Yeah. <laughs> Back at the hotel room, what's the plan, baby? I think it's time for baths for all the kids and bedtime. Okay. Just to relax sometimes. But check this out. Oh wow. It's like shooting. It smells like a pool. It's as big as a pool. It is. You could probably fit the entire family all in this one big bathtub. Everybody get it. Everybody get your shoes. <laughs> well, Charlie's already stripping. Party in the bathtub. Oh, they're watching movies in here, huh? <laughs> That's so cute. All the kids are. Everybody, be quiet, okay? In a hotel, we need to be quiet at night and make sure that we don't wake up anybody else that's trying to sleep, okay? Let's All the sleep. kids are bathed and warm. That was a PJs. crazy, crazy bath. Yeah. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna show you guys our setup in this room. So Ryan and Jessica are gonna sleep over here. Me and Michael are gonna sleep over here. Charlie is in his little crib that he ripped a big hole in. Ugh. Charlie, lay down. Lay down. Ellie is sleeping on this bench that's really soft. I'm sleeping on the other bench. 
James is going to be sleeping on this other bench right you, here. I am going to sleep right here. Ryan's sleeping in the crack. <laughs> the giant crack. I know I'm close. I want to sleep <laughs> The Ryan, Ryan Canyon. Ryan's sleeping in Ryan Canyon. And then Corbin's over here on the floor. <laughs> I don't want to be on the floor. I know. We'll just have to set it up so that everybody's got a bed, huh? So anyways, shh. We're trying to be, shh, Charlie, be quiet. We're trying to be quiet. We're trying to get ready for bed. And it might be very difficult in a room full of a lot of people. What did you guys think of the road trip today? It was long. Boring. <laughs> Well, we look forward to, to tomorrow and all of the adventure that it will bring. I think it's very exciting. And now I'm going to try and get everybody to sleep in one room. Talk to you guys later. Oh, good morning, Charlie. Did you sleep good? <laughs> Are you excited, Charlie? Yeah. We're yeah. gonna go swimming. We're on our way. Here we go. Hey, you guys, slow down. You're getting ready to go in there. Oh. We just barely got our towels, and it was great because it was it was awesome. I did this movie quote. One she like, for you, one, one for, for you, and one for you, and, and one, one for Charlie. <laughs> so this place is so cool. Look at how amazing this is. You can see it from up above, but look. Whoa. Is the water cold? Ooh. Look at these, how cool this is. Ah, how cool this is, look. Ooh. <laughs> you cutie. That's so cute. This place is great. Yeah, it is. Ah, that's that there's sun. Yeah, that it's sunny. That side is not sunny. Yeah, it's shady over there. I was like, ah. <laughs> oh, wow, <guys>. <laughs> 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 that is great. <laughs> 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 Ooh, Charlie, are you swimming? <laughs> Michael's kind of coming right here. <laughs> you can hear the music underwater. That's so cool. There's speakers underwater so when your head goes under, you can still hear the music loud. Corbin's over there sun tanning, getting warm. <laughs> Brian, he's on baby duty. Not because I put him on it, but because he can't stand it <laughs> if he's not. Because he's ultra careful with the kids. Good job! Swimming lessons happening over here. So beautiful. How you guys doing? Good. Nice and warm? Yeah. I can really still around. How you doing, Charlie? I'm really hot. Very hot? I don't want to be happy. Don't go around. I don't want to be We're in the hot tub now. Woo! Look at that! Look at those prunes! Okay, we are leaving the Red Rock. We're all done. Time so to go get some breakfast. Everybody's hangry. Everybody's hangry, especially me and especially, especially Michael. You. He's no especially Michael. <laughs> so the hotel said we only had the room for one night, so they basically kicked us out. We don't know where we're going to be going today, but before we do anything else, we're going to go get some food and hopefully we'll find another clue and give us some more direction. We don't know where we're going today again. I kind of like it this way. It's really fun. <laughs> it's very exciting. <laughs> but I'll be in a better mood in a minute once I get some food. <laughs> I love my hop too. Yeah. I love my pancakes there. Yes, they do. I don't know if you're going to get a chocolate chip pancake, but we'll get you a pancake if you want one. With whipped cream, smiling face, and chocolate chips on. And on the whipped cream. Maybe. That will be fun. Let's go get some food. I'm hungry. We made it. I decided to get these little table topper things for our road trip so that Charlie can have his own little sticky place mat. Oh, I am so, so, so hungry. I haven't eaten all day and it's 
It's like one o'clock in the afternoon. So far, all I've had is water. James is moaning over here. Are you so hungry? Is that what you guys ordered? Yeah. Cool. It's super yummy because really of the pan pan pancakes and sprinkles. That sounds really good. All right, we got food here. Charlie just said a cupcake. A cupcake? Now he's eating that for us. That does look like a cup. Is this dessert it's for breakfast? Yeah. No. That's called cupcake pancakes. Yeah. I actually I don't know if loading the kids up with a whole bunch of sugary breakfast is a good idea. <laughs> Maybe we should use Maybe a spoon instead of a knife. She scooped in it. The whole thing stuck for his food. <laughs> oh, you guys, I think I'm gonna take a little bite of this. You know what? That look who that makes me happy to see it's them syrup. happy. It really does. Yeah. It's Ooh. Syrup. Alright. Okay, don't use your fingers when you eat it, okay? Make sure you okay. use a fork. That looks good. That's right. what I did. Is that everybody's everything? Hey, that's it. Okay. Oh, that's good. Awesome. Yeah, this is good food. So good. What? Oh, what? <gasps> that's the clue for our treasure hunt we're doing. Thank you. Oh, thank, thank, thank you. you. If you need anything else, please let me know right away. Okay. okay. Thank you. Wow. He said, That's awesome. He said somebody left this for us. <laughs> what the heck? Jessica, do you want to open it? Yeah. How did they know we were going to come here? Oh. We even went to Denny's. Yeah. How, how did they know they were we were going to come here? It says. Oh, it is. It is. I can see. No, no, no. What the says? We appreciate your faith and trust in the process. Up. We are aware of you and depend on you. Your next des destination is Southwest, where many palm springs from the earth. Your desert vacation will now take you to some villas. Further instructions await you there. Heroes of the fourth dimension. Whoa. Can you palm Oh, it, it, Palm Spring is under. Villas. The underlined and desert vacation villas is palm under. Palm Springs. Can I see it? I want to see. Whoa, an airplane! The red airplane! Oh, Palm Spring is underlined. Is there a place called Palm Spring? I wonder if that's a place. Palm Southwest of here. Palm Springs, California. California. Southwest. Whoa. Southwest. Should we check that out California. Palm Springs and see if there's anything there called Desert Vacation or something? You're looking it up? Mm -hmm. No? Far away. Destination. <laughs> How far away? Four hours. Oh! Wow. Hey, at least it's not like yesterday. It wasn't yesterday five hours? Yesterday we drove like five and a half hours. Oh, oh okay. good. I'll take a nap. <laughs> what? Me too. Me, me too. When we are at oh, no, don't you take a nap. <laughs> <laughs> Why are you licking your puppy's nose? Why are you doing that? That's my puppy. <laughs> you guys realize that we're going to go to California? Yeah! Yeah, it's going to be so exciting. I'll hand you back a cup with stuff in it, okay? Got some of these, some of these. like a random road leading out into the middle of nowhere in the desert and we're like uh are we gonna be the only ones on this road Mojave, yes, desert, Mojave desert and there's coming. just like a skeleton on the side of the road with a sign turn back now <laughs> we totally saw that we totally did that's why <laughs> okay this is this is not a dirt road so that's good <laughs> close to through commercial traffic what's commercial traffic no, uh, probably the road truck? yeah all right there. we're in the Let's go find some rattlesnakes! There's Everybody, let's jump out! Hey, look, 
there's some vultures eating a dead person. Oh, nice! <laughs> Just kidding. There's sand in the road. Yeah, there's sand in the road right now, blown over over the top of the road. Are we really going on a dirt road? Oh, well, this isn't a dirt road. It's just covered in dirt. It's not a dirt road. You're right. <laughs> it is just covered in dirt. Wow. I think it's funny how just a road is like so intriguing to us. All it is is a road. I mean, we just drove through Las Vegas, and that wasn't as intriguing as this. <laughs> yeah. Las Vegas. Oh. We found a road. A deserted road in the middle of nowhere. It was so interesting. <laughs> Whoa. You are talented, aren't ya? I just think that it's very important that the baby is happy on a road trip. As long as the baby's happy, we have a happy road trip. If the baby's unhappy, then ain't nobody happy. <laughs> Not a cloud in the sky. But we've decided that this is the perfect movie to watch right now, Roadrunner and Wiley Coyote. On the road, the, the road keeps going up and down and up and down and up and down. We're getting ready to do another one. Started singing and not knowing what it was 
and they'll continue singing it forever just because this is a song that never ends. It just goes on and on, my friends. Some people started singing it not knowing what it was. They'll continue singing it forever just because this is At least 99 bottles of beer on the wall had something that changed about the song. And it doesn't. <laughs> it doesn't. <laughs> this one never. When there's no other gas station around for 100 miles or something crazy like that, you get crazy prices like this that you only see in the movies. Check it out. This is how much the gas is. $5.99 a gallon. This whole place is crazy. This is like just one little spot. Every There's hardly anything here. This is like it. There's a post office. Roy's No Vacancy Motel Cafe. Whoa. Look at the inside here. It's like old fashioned style everything. Almost like it got stuck in time. Look at that. Everything is old fashioned. It's got an old like calculator thing to add stuff up. It's got old keys hanging on the wall for the motel. Yes. Get out. Are you gonna walk with me? Well, it looks like these are little hotel places. Come look at this, guys. Oh, what's this? It is kind of like stepping back in time a little bit. This is creepy. Is. Holy cow, Becca, look at that. Whoa! Whoa! Abandoned stuff everywhere. Those little houses are so interesting. What do you guys think you're doing in here? Woo! Yeah. Like even the carpet in there, or that rug, that rug was like probably red, but it's been sun baked. Check out how old this thing is. How many minutes? Ten minutes. Woohoo! Finally! All these windmills as we're passing them. Okay, it's just they are growing a new fresh crop of windmills. It's an airplane that fell apart and stuck to a stick standing up. They're everywhere. It's a giant dandelion seed exactly. that fell on the floor. I see one that's not working. Is that where we're going? What? Welcome. Whoa, Welcome. it's our new home. <laughs> wow. It's not our new home. Look at this, it's even got a table to eat at. <gasps> we have a whole kitchen. I love this place. <laughs> We're gonna go shopping and we're gonna make some food. It's been a whirlwind since we got to this place. Mostly because we've been tired of driving for two days in a row. Becca and I ran to the grocery store and we got a whole bunch of groceries. So our refrigerator and cupboards are full of food. They almost made Michael faint. How much money we spent. Yeah, well we got a lot of food. It's, it's gonna cover us for the next several days. That's true. It's oh, true that's enough. Is. That's enough, Corbin. So they're eating baked potatoes for dinner tonight. I'm gonna finish eating and then I think we're all gonna hit the bed. Um, Can you hear? Can you guys hear me? Does, hey, can you guys hear me now? Oops, didn't mean to do that. Yes, you can? Good, sorry, I got Beatles playing over here. Hi, everybody! Can you guys see me? Can you hear me? Oh, okay, yes, yes, I'm getting, uh, yes we can, yes we can. Oh no, it's not working, I can't see you. Yes, hi, okay, I just wanna make sure this is working. Uh, thank you guys everybody for coming and hanging out with us for our live stream today. I don't know why um, If it has anything to do with where we were in that front room uh, Or not it seems to be working now It's not working. Hello. Hi. I can't see you. Yes. Hi. I can't see you. No. Hi I don't know. I know it started for me. I can't see can you guys see or hear or both? I you guys, I Sorry I can see you <laughs> Okay, I want to make sure you guys can hear us. Come on, start the live. I can see it. It's working. Yes. Okay, both. I can see it here. Okay, great. So, sorry about the technical difficulty there. That was really, really weird. Um, we just found a note. Corbin found it. While it was, he was under the fridge. He was grabbing cheese sticks and he found this note. So, it says go live. So, we're hanging out with you guys live. Getting ready to open this note. We haven't opened it yet because we wanted to wait for you guys to be able to see it. I'm gonna open it. Okay. No, I'm not sick. Thank you for asking. Charlie bit me. Charlie. Oh. 
James is got a snorkel. We were at the pool earlier today and it was really, really sunny, so everybody's a little bit sunburned. Welcome, everybody. Oh, I opened it. Okay, come over here, Corbin. Come over here. All right, read it. Heroes of the fourth dimension. Come over here, Corbin. Read it. I want to hear it. Heroes of the fourth dimension. Welcome, everyone. Yes, you. Oh, watching at home. It's Sunday, the day of resting from work. Today, we celebrate family spending the day together to help save the message, treasure family. Give a sincere. Sincere? Sincere. Hi, Mascot Costume TV. Thank you for the super chat. Member right no, now. Okay. Let me reread it a little bit louder here. It says, Welcome everyone. Yes, you all watching at home. It's Sunday, the day of resting from work. Today we celebrate family spending the day together. To help save the message, treasure family, give a sincere compliment to each member right now. Ooh, it's a sincere compliment. Cor Corbin, I love how sweet you are. That's a sincere compliment. Yeah. I have one for Corbin. Okay. I have one for Corbin. You're so good at reading. Good job. That takes a you lot of effort. have great style. You I rock like your I hair. And his man go. bun. Guys, check it out. Oh, go. dang it. Are we going to go He's home? still got his little ponytail Are we man go bun go in there. That's what I was going <laughs> to say. You rock a man bun. But Katie on. Smile says, hello, heroes of the fourth dimension. Are Sophia, we, why are you going to miss everything? Are we gonna go to the pool or not? <clears throat> Eventually. We already did go to the pool and you got sunburned. <laughs> yeah. Alright, James, give a sincere compliment to somebody in the family. What do you say? Give a sincere compliment to somebody in the family. What does that mean? It's like, say something kind about someone. Say something nice. And take that thing out of your mouth so we can hear you. I like how mom lets me stay up and eat food every night. <laughs> okay, so that's something that you like. <laughs> okay, so the recap, somebody just asked for a recap of what's been going on. So a few days ago, we found a note in our house that told us that we were going to be going on a trip and to pack for 10 days. And then the next day we got all packed and it said to rest up because we have a really big trip ahead of us and to get ready to go. And then we went to Las Vegas for a night. It said <clears throat> Yeah, we water and our water, water and our water. <laughs> and then after, after we went to Las Vegas, <laughs> then now Mommy. we've been led to I California. We're in Palm Springs, California right now. Uh, we had a really awesome day yesterday that you'll get to see tomorrow. And tomorrow morning, you're going to be seeing the vlog from yesterday where we went to... Should I tell them where we went or should it be a surprise? Where are we going at? I forgot. <laughs> oh, I remember now. <laughs> and if you would follow me in my Facebook group um, for Springs. little things, you would know where we went. <laughs> That's right, Becca. We actually posted pictures all over uh, Instagram. That's true. So some of you guys probably know where we went, actually. If you know where we went yesterday, Post a comment. I'm curious to see if any of you guys follow us on Instagram. Yesterday. Random content says, yesterday. Tell Corbin he reads so nicely. That's really nice. Hi, Emily. Love you too. LPS Snitch says, Ryan, you are the best. Thank you. Oh, thank you. Thank you. That's nice. Trisha says, You guys are awesome. Uh, Jennifer says, Beep, beep. I'm a sheep. <laughs> <laughs> Elizabeth, you're in for a treat. Go watch the the trip hunt videos so far. Starting with the week on the screen. Are we water and our water, Gary? Yeah. We haven't figured out, Ariana, who the heroes of the fourth dimension are. We don't know who they are. Uh, let's see. All right, I'm looking for more comments. Corbin is awesome, says Jamie. I love the Charlie. Are we water? And our water, and our, our water. No, no. We're in Palm Springs.
drinks now, but do you guys know where we went yesterday? It hasn't gone up in the vlogs yet. So the only way you'd know is if you followed us on Instagram. I'm curious. But did they even hear it? James, don't say it. What's their Insta? It's called uh, Beach House Vlogs on Instagram. And we have a link in the description of pretty much everybody. Karen, we're not ignoring you. Sorry, there's just a lot of comments I'm trying to keep up. Ronald says Charlie is cute. Zoe. Zoe. Haven, good night. We are, right now we are at Hi. Palm Springs. Mm -hmm. And yesterday. Nicholas says, Ryan, you're the nice one. Yesterday. Oh, I'm probably not the nice one. Yesterday. Okay, everybody, let's take turns giving compliments to we everybody. We were still okay. here. Okay, no, no one has guessed yet where we went. I guess no one follows us on Instagram. Okay, I'm going to start with my Oh. Hey, we got a winner, Genji, Long Beach. Good job, Jen. <laughs> all right, here, Becca, you want to start? Oh, wow, sorry, there's a lot of comments. I haven't been able to read them all. Long Beach, John Merrill got it. I do. You you read it and flip it on me so that you can... Oh, okay. All right, Becca. Okay. You wanted to say something I want to nice? say that Michael is the best husband I have ever had. <laughs> no. <laughs> uh, no, Michael's the best husband ever. He's such a good husband. And he is just so creative and he works hard and I love him. Go on. And then <laughs> Oh um, Becca, your dad says hi Becca. Hi! I hope you're feeling better. Um Oh no, you're falling. Well Becca, I think you the sweetest and most amazing wife and mother. She is so selfless. She puts everyone's needs and wants above her own. And I think she's just the epitome of perfection. If there were, there was the most perfect wife and good person in the whole world. A lot of people think that there's no true good people in the world. Well, she is a true good person. Brian put this grape in the snorkel. And you're really good at compliments, too. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks. I love you. I love you, too. Michael, um, you're amazing at oh, multitasking. Eamon McPollin says, I am the hero of the fourth dimension. Who? What? What? <laughs> Are you sure? <laughs> well, we're looking for oh, somebody. Oh, Terry Shelton says, happy birthday, Becca. <gasps> Soon. It's, it's very close. Her birthday is Tuesday, actually. Oh! Well, I, I didn't even so, know that. Honestly, I didn't even know that. Oh, and guess what? This is on Tuesday. So Tuesday is the 1,000th day that we have been daily vlogging you know what I'm on eating? this channel. Do you know what I'm eating? Wow. As of this Tuesday, we will have been daily single vlogs, daily I'm vlogging eating. every single you know day what? for a thousand days. That day, what I want for my birthday is eating. to pick where what we all go out to eat and spend however much money and not worry about it. <laughs> Whatever you want, baby. Okay. Okay, Ryan, you were saying something nice about me? Yes. <laughs> you are absolutely amazing at multitasking. Uh -huh. Multitasking and also uh -huh. you're very, very good at... Uh, keeping a calm head in very tense situations. We were driving down the road yesterday, and uh, we we were going uh, merging onto in in a lane, and somebody else was trying to merge from the other side, and he just was calm and collected. It was very scary, but we both went like that. Thank you, Ryan. It was amazing. Well, you know, Ryan, I have to say about you. Whenever I introduce Ryan to like somebody. Even if he's not yes. there, I'll always the say, Careful. Ryan is a genius. He really is. You really yeah. are. Thank you. You, you are just the and most brilliant genius. mind. <laughs> There's like nothing you can't do. And I mean genius. that. I really do mean that. You're I have a brilliant. I have a compliment for Ryan. Okay, what's your compliment for Ryan? Ryan is a really, really nice brother. And he has a lot of patience with me. Oh, that's true. <laughs> <laughs> and I just have to say, and I think oh, I can say this thing. without anybody else in the family getting mad or feeling bad because they know it's true. And that is, we are kind of like best friends all yes. growing up. And 
and James, don't tip that over. Oh, I don't know. I just always have appreciated spending time around him, and I always enjoy it. And I feel there are very few people in this world that I feel I can, I can, there are very few people in this world that I feel like I can tease or that I can be completely myself around, Mm -hmm. and he is one of those. So, Marjolin said, my compliment to you guys is that you are all the most loving family I've ever seen. And an example to everyone showing how to live, love, and respect each other and everyone and enjoy it. Um, I have to say that Michael is dedicated to yes. what he does. And that Becca, you are so kind and gentle no matter what. And that Ryan knows how to lighten up every single one. Yeah. That's true. Thank you. Even Thanks, Jess. When he that was sweet. I have to say. <laughs> I have to say about Jessica uh, that Jessica, you really impressed me with the work that you're able to do and how quick you learn. Whenever I teach Jessica something, she remembers it and learns it so fast. And that's a really good skill and talent to have. I'm glad. Um, I have to say something about Jessica. And I know it's terrible lighting right here. Well, you're sitting in the worst spot. Um, Everybody, be quiet. I am speaking. (laughs) Um, Jessica, ever since she was very, very little, she would come and give you a hug. Like, she was, um, she was more cuddly than any of our kids. I can't even think of any of our kids that were as cuddly as Jessica. And I mean cuddly in, like, if you were sad, she would come up to you and be like, Oh, and Ellie? just give you a hug and Ellie? be really sweet Ellie. and that's something that Ellie. she's always been like so yeah. you're and she really even now she's the same way if she sees somebody that's sad or she feels like like something's wrong she'll ask what's wrong or she'll always go up and give a hug and be really sweet and kind when it's appropriate when it's always appropriate <laughs> so she's always like that you guys have a way of bringing out the best in everyone and I'm serious about That's that. true. That's a compliment for you guys, huh? Mm-hmm. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. All okay, right. Jessica or James, do you have a compliment you want to give? Let's go to the pool. <laughs> <laughs> no, I want to hear you say something nice about somebody. Corbin? I can. Okay. Mom always gives us vitamins and it's nice. Okay. Do you have any kind things you could say about James? Yeah. So, sometimes he shares with me good things, and he likes doing that. That's a very sweet thing, huh? Yeah. Cool. What about Ellie? Do you have anything nice to say about Ellie? Yes. And that's that sometimes she says, yeah, and she gives me stuff that I don't ask for. That's very nice. And I do want. James, cool. you are amazing at building things. Really, James, really good. James That's is very true. creative. Yeah. James is brilliant. I you love know, how innovative he can be in coming up with something unique and original. Yeah. Thinking outside the box. He really does. Outside the cardboard box. <laughs> Ellie. Ellie always gives compliments. She's yeah. like, I'm so pretty. But she'll, she'll say that, and she'll say, she'll, she, said, she says this all the time, like, Ryan, you're so handsome, and yeah. it's so kind, and also, Charlie has such a good sense of humor. Yeah, check it out right now behind you. <laughs> hey, <laughs> And he's a tease? He is. Absolutely. He's a little tease. Jessica is so patient. Yeah, that's true. And I am very serious about that. Yeah. She is so, so good at, like, even at the spur of the moment, she's willing to drop a lot of things that she's doing 
just to be able to help out and be kind. Yeah. And she also knows when to give people like back scratches if they're not feeling good. Oh well, yeah, she gives back good back scratches. <laughs> That's a good compliment. So we just read this note that we found. Oh, it's a little bit crazy in here. Um, welcome everyone. So I'm just gonna show you guys. Welcome everyone. Yes, you all watching at home. So even you guys, this note is for you guys. Um, it's it's the day. It's Sunday, the day of resting from work. Today we celebrate family spending the day together. To help save the message treasure family, give a sincere compliment to each member right now. So this is not only a challenge for us, but this is a challenge for you guys in your families. So go to your mom or your dad or your brother or your sister or your son or your daughter, whoever is in your family right now, and give them a sincere compliment. Tell them something about them that you really appreciate and that you really love. Because family is so important and I think this is a really cool challenge. And I just have to say something, and I don't mean to be a downer at all, but but listen for a second, okay? You don't know when you're not going to have somebody again. And tell them right now exactly how you feel about them. Like, be... Sincere. Be sincere, be honest, because you never know when you're not going to have them. So tell them right now how you feel and be sincere about it. And they're just going to appreciate it so much. Do it. Becca, I also totally agree with you with what you said Charlotte, about can how you say panda? Uh, you're, can you you're say so panda? good at goofing around together. Yeah. 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 <laughs> I didn't even realize what I was doing. I was like... <laughs> Good job. Good job, WWE Master says, I just said to my dad, I love you. You're so nice. I Good job. To say, okay, James. I like when I play with Charlie and whenever I play and tag with him, he's always like, <laughs> and then sometimes he runs to mom and then he's like this. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he does And that. goes behind him. Okay, Ellie. So you? it's it's gamer Kara says Becca, a compliment also, to you guys as you make people happy. Thank you. I love how you're always what, what, what? What? What I, Brian. <laughs> Brian Dalton, stop saying that. What no. I mean by that is you always try and look good. Family is important. I love that you guys truly love each other. <laughs> so family is important. Make sure that you guys say something nice to your family also. I think Ellie wanted to say a couple things. Okay, Ellie. So Ellie. We're saying nice things to each other. We're saying nice things to Dad and to Ryan and Jessica and James and Corbin and me and Charlie. Do you have anything nice that you would like to say to them? Um, Ryan, look. Guys, you want to see me do a handstand? I'll tell you one. I'll tell you Thank one. you, Jessica, for you saying to your brother. You want to see me do a handstand? Sure. You can tell them. Uh, Hi. Do it. Do it. I'm talking to Jessica right now. Tell Charlie, Charlie right now. something. Okay, tell Charlie something. Charlie, 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 Charlie. Charlie. Look at Ooh. look at Ellie. Charlie. Look at Ellie. Look at Ellie. Ellie has something to say to you. When I give the bill from you to you. <laughs> <laughs> He's not very patient, is he? That's, you right. That's not Charlie's strong suit. I see you. <laughs> You know, you Ellie, say, you're the sweetest you because she'll walk up to people and just say, I love you, Dad. I know. And it's she'll so just do it out of the blue hey. without anybody oh, asking. Hey. Or she'll and walk up to me out thing. of the blue. Yeah. That's what I love the most is when it's out of the blue I and not like Dad. asked for. She'll come up and she'll just be like, Mom, you're beautiful. Uh, mm -hmm. Ow! That's true. Ow. That's how She's she is. That's her personality. <laughs> so she doesn't have to wait to be challenged to say something yeah, nice to someone. She just does it all the time. <laughs> so I'm looking for you guys' comments to see if you guys said something nice to someone in your family. And I appreciate the people that have said that they did. Hey yeah. Do you see me? I'm in the curtains. <laughs> I can't see anything. But it does feel kind of ghostly in here. <laughs> I did, I did. Snow Girl says I did. Kit Kat said I did. Denise says I did. Emily says, I told my mom I love her. Oh, good job. It's me. Good. I'm Ellie, so glad. Oh. Ew, spit is happening over here. Go get a tissue. Can <laughs> I show you guys yeah, a Yeah, show us your thing, James.
Thank you everybody who said something kind to a member of their family helping us. The heroes of the fourth dimension asked us all to do it and I'm glad that you guys participated. That makes me really, really happy, you guys. Cool tricks. Go, Ellie. Is that it, Ellie? Amazing. Cool tricks. Yoshi says, I said I love you to make that, t to make that my tooth that is my sister, my gr grandma, my grandpa, my mom, and they all said they love me back. You know what? Good. I have to, I have a really good one. So there's one that you can do for your mom and they will probably cry because honestly, <laughs> I appreciate my mom and sometimes I can say this and it will make it makes her feel really good but if any of the kids ever said this to me it would just make me feel like oh and that is I appreciate all of the things you've done for me mom that's so simple it's very simple but moms do a lot of work for their they kids sacrifice a they lot. keep them alive and so do dads that's true that's true yeah and parents do a lot for their kids and their families so you should definitely say that to your mom or dad yes this That's has been a really helpful. good challenge. This is. I really like I this love challenge. It. I love it too. And I'm so glad that all of you guys are helping <laughs> participate in doing something, saying a kind, sincere compliment that to someone you. in your family. I love Let's you too. look around for the treasure of the four dimensions. The four heroes of oh, oh, the oh, dimensions. Jessica, let's give Jessica a kiss right now. Move, James. Move, James. Move. No. Move, James. No, no, you like in the background, you see what I'm saying? Oh. She's right in between us, so. Oh, James, not right James, now. James, James. Mm. Wow, Jessica. <laughs> Ryan really kissed me. <laughs> okay, now let's kiss Ryan. Okay. Mm. Hey. <laughs> ah. Oh, my. Oh, oh, my. Oh, my. Oh, my. Oh, my. Oh, my. Oh, my. Heart <laughs> equals melted. Asking Charlie if you want to give me a kiss, I was like, "Do you want to give me a kiss?" And he's like, "Oh, listen to this." Melinda Yang you just said, "This challenge makes me think back to Asian culture, my roots. We Asians don't really say I love you to each other. We do it by." Getting good grades and jobs. Oh. That's really interesting. So that's how you show that respect to sense. your family? Good job. That's, that is pretty cool. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Hey, huh. Charlie. I bet you. I, it just makes me wonder what, how. Oh, mm -hmm. he's trying to kiss yeah. you on the cheek. I think you guys just broke the internet. No, you. Let's. Ah! Charlie nice. baby! I need to kiss mom. Oh, Ellie wants kiss to kiss it better. You. Thank you. Now I'm it's better. I'm to kiss on the cheek. I did not lie on my. Oh, sorry. Whoa, two for one. <laughs> get on this. Get on this side. Get on this side. Oh! Oh, sorry. Okay, okay. Try again, try again. Oh, <laughs> oh okay, okay. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> That's really cute. So many kisses. <laughs> love well, slobber. I <laughs> love me. Hey, Charlie, you want to give them a kiss? Kiss right there. Give it a kiss. There you go. <laughs> Did you guys appreciate sweet. your little sweet baby sweet. kiss? That was really cute. Oh, that dad was adorable. Say what did Dad say? I am so proud of all of you wonderful kids. Oh, I am so blessed as a mom, John Lee. Dad, why did you tell me this now? Wow, Thank you for saying these things. I love.
love you all. Love your mom. <laughs> Obviously, your mom is on your dad's couch. Oh, okay. I love you too. Mom, dad, mom. Mom and dad. I love you both. <laughs> Whoever's watching. Oh, that's okay. Oh, that makes calm. me want to cry. I just love my mom so much and my dad so much. Did you know? One time, I stayed up all night long crying because I realized I felt like I loved my mom more than my dad and I wanted to equally love them because my dad was at work all the time and I didn't know him as well as my mom. That sounds so weird, but it's the truth. And then, and then I just cried all night until my mom heard me crying and came into my room and I said, Mom, I'm afraid I... I just want to love both of you so, I want to love both of you the same amount. And she was like, oh, that's so sweet. I can't remember what she said, but of course it made me feel better because moms always do. <laughs> and I still feel that same way. I don't ever want to, like, I don't ever want to love one of my kids more than the other. But I don't want to, like, hold back on love because I am, you know what I mean? Like I love all of them equally and I love my family equally and I get along with some of them better than other ones but I still love them all equally. <laughs> Did you see what your mom said on that? I stole the keyboard from dad, <laughs> says my mom that's now named John Lee. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> so funny. This is me, mom! <laughs> so funny oh thank you guys for all of the comments i love it when we have a good conversation going on you know i think we've all had a really good heart to heart we should all just cry a little bit <laughs> this is so I happy like i've been crying i'm all sunburned i'm so happy i'm so happy too craig jonathan says no i'm your mom <laughs> <laughs> look at look over there. Out of my baby mine. <laughs> Don't cry in, he said. <laughs> oh, no. no, I'm your mom. <laughs> Love's puppy says I am your mom. Oh, I have to say that's Hi, another Zachary. thing. That's another thing that Charlie's been doing lately and it's the most heart melting thing. He'll if you start crying or something, he'll come up and just rub your face. Or if, you, or if you're like, ouch, I got hurt, he'll be like, Becca. Becca, I, I was Oh right, no, he'll say Is that better? Becca, uh -huh. I was holding this up and he turned around so I could put it on him. <laughs> Do you see it? Yeah. It's so tiny though. We are all your family too. <laughs> yes. Katie Parr, oh, how do you say yes. your name? I've seen your I've seen your make comments Power. lots of times. K T Y Parr, P A W R. Katie Parr, I've seen you a million times on here. Thank you so much. We are all your family. We are all family. We're all brothers and sisters. Everybody's my mother. <laughs> I'm your mama. No, I'm your mama. I am your mama. Actually, Becca, I'm your mama. Uh, everybody's saying they're my mom. How many moms do I have in this world? Mama. Oh, somebody said they're my godmother. Oh. I'm your mama. I'm your mama. Shania. <laughs> well, this has gotten a little bit crazy. I am your dad. Who is that? What? Why is everybody my parents? Are you guys trying to tell me what to do? JS DIY, you guys are so awesome. I wish I could be in your family. You guys are probably one of the most happiest family alive. Can it, uh, would it, it would mean the world to me for a shout out. I have a fever. Oh, I hope you get better, JS DIY. Yeah, me too. Hope you get yeah. better soon. Zachary <laughs> is your mom, and, and Pio, Pio is, my dad. is your dad. <laughs> there are so many parents in here. Get out of here. This is for mm, kids only. Thanks, Just kidding. Charlie. <gasps> Thank you. Wait, one more, one more. Oh, I love it! <laughs> School baby kisses are the cutest things. Yeah, yeah, slobber things. on both cheeks. Jen G, thank you so much. Love yeah. Love slobber. We loved your letter the other day. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Ryan King. Yes, Beth, our last name is Beach. Yes. Ryan, everybody wants you to say your signature quote. I love 
love you. I think he's saying, I'm, I'm, I'm sorry. sorry. Oh, I'm sorry. Don't hit. Gets it better. Good, it was on this side, but that's okay. <laughs> Don't ever hit, Charlie. Okay, well, I think that this has been a really fun, loving, happy family. Do this with your family, seriously. It's very like, stream. I feel so good right now. I feel like, oh, all of those things that you're like, why, you just kind of hold off on saying to your family that you actually should be saying. Even if it's a little bit awkward or It's going to be awkward. Sometimes, anyway. some families, it's very awkward to say this type of thing. But you know what? The the thing is, it's yes. worth it. Even if they don't respond yeah. in the way that you're thinking they're gonna respond, they're gonna appreciate it whether you, whether they say it or not. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? They'll, they will appreciate it. So just do it. Do that really awkward compliment that you, but that one that you really mean, and I bet you anything, it's gonna make them feel really, really good. Cool, I agree. Also, uh, I think I want to tell you guys a secret. No. I'm gonna, I'm gonna. Yeah. All right, guys, here's a secret. To all of you who have stayed through our entire live stream and who have been following our journey this whole last several days, thank you for being a part of it. Thank you for taking on the challenges and telling your family that you love them and saying something sweet about them. And because you've done all of these things, you get to be in a special, all-inclusive group of group not gloop. Gloop of people. <laughs> you get to be in a gloop of people. Okay, so I wanted to tell you guys this because we've had a lot of people asking about it. Um, some friends of ours contacted us because they know that we're good at finding treasures. And they also know that we are in California. And they are in California. And they said that they found something very interesting that they want us to come and look at at the end, at of, the end this of this week. week and they think that it might be like a clue or something for a possibly treasure a treasure hunt so we're gonna go check it out at the end of this week so at the end of this week so it's laura's mama ah! oh laura's i win mama. i win you're dead charlie's <laughs> 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 over there like this you killed me <laughs> Pretty painful, actually. Um, so I just wanted to give you guys all who are awesome people and friends and family here a uh, heads up. We got a live, or we're gonna be doing possibly a treasure hunt this weekend because some friends of ours found something that they think might lead to a treasure. Um, so there's the heads up. That's the exciting news. That's, that's the coming. exciting news. Thanks for participating. I think we're gonna close out the live stream though. The kids are going crazy. I think they it's gonna be dinner time. time. Should we sing a song? Yes. These, These are, are the days, days to cherish every moment. Yeah, take it all in before it all gets stolen. Yeah, and I go and compliment your parents and your mom and family. Just make them happy. We love you guys. Wow. Good job. Ellie decided to go out there while I was out there. I was trying to take a selfie, it didn't work. But anyways, I was out there, so they both came out there, and now they're out there playing perfectly and having so much fun. No. Ellie said, I want this to be my playhouse. <laughs> so now it's her playhouse. <laughs> have you had a good day? I have. Oh, good, babe. Thanks. I was able to get a shower and take care of myself and feel a little bit better. I already have been feeling the pains of travel food. You know what I mean? It's always really hard to eat healthy when you're on the road. It's a good thing we were able to go shopping yesterday and get some I know. healthy stuff. I'm actually really happy about that. All right, it's searching for note time. We gotta try and find through all the mess here. You gotta find anything? A note. No. Poor bear. I'm sorry. Oh. I want to try to get that. Thank you for saying sorry. James, don't push the mattress off the bed. I don't think it's under there. Nope, you don't stay, you stay out of that without me over here, okay? Did you guys look inside this treasure chest? No. Okay. Ah, we checked in there earlier today and there wasn't one of these in it. What? Yeah, it was a first thing Dad found it, you had to read it. Oh, it's it. my turn to read it. Oh, because nice. you found it. 
That's crazy that it wasn't in there earlier, but now it is. I have to say, it's the coolest box. It is a pretty cool box. That is that alone we could probably find treasure in. All right, it says, welcome to your new home. <gasps> Yay, they knew we were here. You will remain here for the rest of your trip. <gasps> Settle in. What does treasure family mean to you? Who is your family, really? Today, the beach family will go to the beach. <gasps> Meet a new family member that that is your challenge. Meet a new family member? Yeah. My guy and my kids or something you haven't told us about? Just kidding, that's a baby, that's a food baby. That's a food, that's not real. I guess we're all members of the human family. Yeah, right. Members of the human family. We're all brothers and sisters. Ellie, hand this back to Corbin and Corbin hand it back to Ryan, okay? Oh, thank you, sweetie. So we're getting out. We're heading on the road, headed over to the beach right now. Everybody decided it's been too long since breakfast, so we decided to swing by a quick McDonald's trip. So everybody's happy while we drive to the beach. That's right. Oh my goodness, we found real dinosaurs! Whoa! Whoa! Say dinosaur! Surfing now, everybody's learning how come on a safari with me. swimming but I did not want to because sometimes you just need somebody to have a sand free hand you know what I'm saying <laughs> and you also need somebody to be able to hand put grapes in people's mouths so that they can like have 
the leisurely life, you know. Rebecca Laying on the was beach, more than happy to be the, the one. Sunshine, <laughs> putting grapes in my in somebody else's mouth, you know. I don't remember you putting any grapes in my mouth. I put mouth. grapes in all the kids' mouths. Anyways, I think it's time to go rent a bike. What was the challenge for the thing today? That the who remembers the challenge of the heroes of the fourth dimension? From today. They talked about treasure family. What does treasure family mean to you? And who is your family? Because I think in all reality, we're all related. Everyone we're on all Earth. really on this earth. We're all one big family, really. So if we're all family and we're all connected, then we need to be nice to everyone. I think that the challenge today was to meet a new member of the family. So basically we need to get to know somebody new, right? Yeah, somebody that we've never met before. Get to know somebody new. Okay, that's what we're gonna try and do. Yeah, put your face in the little mermaid. <laughs> <laughs> That's, That's a cute so little cute. brain. <laughs> That's a scary one. That's so yeah. Good job. Do you have your teddy bear, Charlie? Yeah. And you're not going to lose it because it zipped in. Hey, cute girls. You guys want to ride? Oh, we got a helmet for Ellie. So we got a double surrey and we got the whole gang here in this place. We got Corbin here in the front with me. We got James in the back with Ryan and Jess. Becca's gonna be here in the front with Charlie's me. And then right we there. got the Charlie in the very all front. Cold. The caboose is red. The caboose is red. Is this fun? <laughs> Do you like that, Ellie? Go up here. This is driving me crazy. I keep going, ah! <laughs> This thing doesn't have a very good turning yeah. radius, I'll tell you that right now. You got a break, right? No, I got a break, no, no. yeah. But there's the ocean! We're gonna have to use it, I'm sure. Okay! Get ready to use that break! <laughs> Charlie! Charlie's all woo! Get a shot of that ocean there. Wow, that's so cool. That's, that's so, so, cool. so awesome. Good job, Corbin. <laughs> yeah. Corbin, Corbin's job is to ding the bell every time we pass somebody. That's yeah. true, he's doing a good he's job. He's doing a great job. <laughs> so we got me pedaling, Michael's over there pedaling, Brian's back here pedaling, and Jessica. Oh, yeah. Spear did not have to pedal anything right here. There's nothing right here, so I it's know. like. Yeah. <laughs> and yet we're on a bike, and on on a bike you don't have anything on either side. I know it's just interesting, huh? I know. I was thinking the same thing. Like, oh no, I'm gonna fall out. That was a great workout. <laughs> <laughs> Do you this guys like this car bike? <gasps> look, 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 look. There's a thing. There, there's like, people fishing up, up there. Yeah, they put in a thing and then they pull it up with fish in it. Whoa, that's cool. Look, are they pulling it? Yeah, seriously, it's driving me crazy. Look, 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 they pulled it up. Oh, yeah, there's oh, yeah. Wait, has nothing in it. Oh, wow. Oh, yeah. ah, Hi. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> look, is that the Titanic? That looks like it. I think it's called the Queen Mary. Wow. And they actually rent it out as a hotel now. That's wow. so cool. <laughs> Are we riding a bike? Uh, yeah, we're riding a bike. This is a bike car. We're driving a bike. This is fun. You know what? It has been almost a year since we came here. Almost exactly a year since we were here. Since we came here the first riding, time. And I was like, I just wish we could have the family do this with we us. We did a live stream with the family. That's right. That's right. I don't think they saw that. No, I think we just did it. It was like a like private a... FaceTime with the kids yeah. because we wanted to just show them what we were doing. And they were all like, I want to do that one day. And we were like, okay, I don't know when it's going to happen, but today is that day. We got the whole family here and we're all riding together. Hey, it's a mini road us. Yeah. <laughs> Look at that. Okay, we're, we're about, about ready to say hi to a whole bunch of people. Say hi to them as we pass. Hi! <laughs> Good job. Good practice, Charlie. Hi! <laughs> Charlie. <laughs> Charlie's like, hey, hey. <laughs> <laughs> that was so funny of me. <laughs> he just said, yeah. And he's laughing. <laughs> Bye. Bye. This is a way of meeting strangers. That's true. Yeah. This is a good way of meeting strangers. <laughs> saying hi to everyone as we drive yeah, by. Yeah, say hi to everybody. <laughs> this is fun. Just don't say hi too loudly. You might scare them and they'll fall off those rocks. 
I sneak up behind him and yell like that. Hi! <laughs> I think they're Hi! It's been a great time. <laughs> James, you look like E.T. Turn to the side. <laughs> he totally does. E.T. found all. Like on the, the, the people on the E.T. Yeah, that's right. This is what memories are made of. Look, this is people. why we do this. It's Hi. fun. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> We're too good at that. <laughs> a little bit too good. <laughs> a little bit too good. Go faster! Go faster! Go faster! Go faster! Charlie does it! Charlie does it! Oh, there we go, fast! Woo! It's bouncing! Chugga lugga lugga five miles an hour! <laughs> you're the only one with a wedgie, babe. Hi. I don't know what you're talking about. Yeah, that's a bathing suit on. <laughs> wedgie machine! We should say hi. Ready? Bye. One, two, three. Hi. Hi. This is like a yacht club. Oh, here comes a little boat. Shoreline yacht club. Here comes a little boat. Look at that boat. Oh, it's so cute. And it has a little mini boat on top of it. Oh, I love it. Hi! Hi. <laughs> <laughs> Did you guys have fun? Yeah! <laughs> okay, what you doing? Hurry up. You win a, you win a blue one, you get it. Oh, you got a blue one! We can go show them. Winner, winner, chicken dinner there. If you get a blue one, you get a free ice cream cone. Free ice cream cone? Yeah. Good job, man. We have a sucker. <laughs> Is it going down your neck? Oh, Charlie, he's just enjoying this. You look happy, Charlie. Yeah. <laughs> no, no. Oh, Charlie. Yeah. <laughs> Come to uh, ice cream and uh, frozen yogurt on the boardwalk. We hook it up with some ice cream and a fresh banana skin. Well, baby, wasn't that the most perfect? Ooh, what's that? <laughs> so where did the treasure hunt bring you to now? Somebody's asking me. And someone's messaging you? Curious. Well, it's mm. it's interesting because I've taken my lip sense group on Facebook and I've been very like professional with it, right? Because I think, well, if they're here, they're here for like lipstick, right? And not so much like the beach house. But what I'm realizing is everybody that's on there is seen our videos I think mm -hmm. and come there because of either the Pins of Things or the Beach House. It's just interesting to me figuring out that I'm getting really good engagement on the posts that I've had on this trip. It's almost like I'm behind also, the scenes. Yeah it is, it really <laughs> like is. Like they're getting to find out what we don't put in the blog or, a little bit more. Or even ahead of time they get it one day before everybody else whatever I'm Now doing. you're gonna get a flood of Beach House fans onto your page. <laughs> That That's right. Go to my in... lip sense page because you're gonna get. <laughs> you're gonna get pitch lip get sense every pitch single lip day. Pitch lip sense every single day, <laughs> and you're gonna get a behind the scenes one day before news of what we're doing. That is true. So. So yeah. So <laughs> what we did today, she posted <laughs> on her That's a big group. strategy to grow my group. So if you want to know what she's doing and where we went today. <laughs> That's true. A day early. Anyway, that's not why I started this. We had an awesome trip to the beach today. It, it was, was so much fun. It was like perfect. It really was. I planned bringing food. We brought enough food. We planned to go bike riding. We went bike riding even though it was expensive, but not as expensive as we thought it was going to be. They saw it all, but it was really cool yeah. because I feel like we were able to do exactly what the challenge was. We were able to make, I think, a lot of people's day by everybody... Hi! 
Charlie Driving was so by and saying hi to everybody, and I think it was making a lot of people really happy. And it was making me happy, feel like seeing the smiles on these strangers' faces from all the kids just like yelling hi yes. to everybody as we drove by. And there was no holding back the hi. It wasn't like a hi. It was a hi. <laughs> we were like almost trying to scare people a little bit <laughs> with One, our hi. Two, three, hi. <laughs> yeah, that's great. We're just driving along. Uh, hi. You know, we're, hi. <laughs> Okay, what Everybody. I have to say is there are hardened people out there. There really are. There are some people that just, they hardly smile for anything. Mm -hmm. And that's not us. But what I was going to say is... <laughs> some <laughs> of us. So, <laughs> Jessica is a hardened person. Yeah. I hate the world. <laughs> that's true. She <laughs> hates she smiled. the world. I saw her smile. She hates the world. <laughs> and just... <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, it was just so cool because yeah, we were all saying hi, but I think there were a few people that wouldn't have smiled if Charlie wasn't there saying yeah. hi. And Charlie was like sitting right in the front of the little carriage. Brown and a baby that's like hi. <laughs> you can't. It's the best possible. friend of everyone. Dare you guys to try and not <laughs> smile when he's there? There were a couple hi. guys that were just like. Eh. Yeah, that's true. There were a few people. And then we like... made friends with the ice cream man. <laughs> and uh, he introduced himself into the vlog and he was pitching yeah. the ice cream company. But yeah. he was yeah. a really cool guy and we got to get to know him Do a little you, bit. I think he was a little bit nervous. Yeah. Yeah. I think so too. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Anyway, thanks so much for watching, you guys. We got way more awesome adventures coming tomorrow, so make sure to stay tuned because this party is just getting started. That's right. Yeah, this yeah. party is just getting started. Yeah. Raise the roof. Raise the roof. I didn't do that.
start to look around. And mom said it's either in the kitchen or in the living room. And I look in here. I looked under those and under everything. Then mom looked at the door and through the door. I was like looking around and I found that. And there's our letter. Really cool. It's right there. That white and red is off of the door. And James was trying to reach it and then he almost touched the floor and then he did this. He almost touched the floor and then he sat there and then did that because he almost fell onto the ground. Here Corbin, you record me do it. Be going to Disneyland. So mom's making a post. Is that cool, guys? So we're gonna get the clue down up there. And we're gonna open it and read it. Ryan hasn't had a turn opening one yet. Becca, everybody, I'm opening up the letter. Oh, it's it is. One. It is one of them. Do you have the fourth dimension? Yeah. Because of all the colors. Okay. Dimension. All right. It says, Heroes of the Fourth Dimension. That's a great letter. <laughs> oh, we should read this part. Okay. You have done well so far to help us restore treasure family. Every one of you who have played a role, we thank you. Today, your family will learn about animals of the ocean. I will go, go. We're going to the, the aquarium. How we That's all are said. connected. And how we all are connected. Okay. Prepare to travel to a world of sea. And world and sea are underlined. Actually, sea and world. World, are, sea? Sea, world? Okay. Sea and world are underlined. We're going to Sea World! Where is I don't know. We're going to go find Sea World. <laughs> then where are you going to learn this? I think I know Let me see. You know when we went to the beach? Right thing, there's lots of whales. Wow, that's awesome. Are you guys excited? Yeah. yeah. So, we're really excited to be going to SeaWorld, but I feel a little bit like a failure as a parent because my kids have never even heard of SeaWorld before. I got out my camera and I looked up some pictures of SeaWorld and all the shows, and now they're really, really excited. Are you guys excited? Yeah! So we've been to aquariums before and they thought that's what it was, but I showed the pictures I was like, no, this is like a hundred times better than any aquarium you've ever been to. I grew up going to SeaWorld. I'm really, really excited to be able to take these guys to go to SeaWorld. In fact, I remember in third grade, I went on a field trip to SeaWorld. Third grade? In third grade, I went on a field trip to SeaWorld. I'm so excited. This is gonna be a fun, fun day. Here at SeaWorld, woo! That's right, a horseshoe crab. Wow. I have to ask, I'm not They're all sharks. Look at that. This one's huge. Ooh, a big bug. Here, let me help you. I'm gonna help you, okay? There's a fin right there you can touch. Yes. Wow. And a Alright, James. Tell us where we're going, dude. Manta roller coaster. Are you nervous? Yeah. So this is kind of gonna be like what you're sitting in, okay? So that'll come down. 
So that's going to be like what it's like in there, okay? Piranhas. I don't know, I'm just kidding. This is going to be fun. Are you guys excited? Are you ready? Pull it down. What are we doing here, Corbin? Watching James and Dad come by. Yeah. Is this going to be fun? Yeah. This is pretty exciting. I'm excited because it's in the shade. <laughs> and look at this. They're going to come by right there. All the way down. Ding. 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 That was them. Did you see them on it? You should have seen them on it. Did you see them? Was that really scary? You did good though, dude. Give me five. You did good. You did good. Yeah. It's over now. It's over. Yeah, all the rest are better than this one. This one was the scariest one. And you did it. That means you can do all the other ones without me trouble. I think that was a little bit scary for James, huh, dude? No more roller coasters? No, I just don't want to go on this one. Just don't want to do that one again. Okay. <laughs> This is actually pretty cool. I didn't know that SeaWorld did this until just today, but they have a $35 all day meal deal. You can get a meal every hour for one person, every single hour the whole day here at the park. So Becky did that, and I'm really happy that she did because I think that's actually a really cool project. It's so smart. I've been to a lot of theme parks and I've never seen anything that cool before. Oh my gosh, Corbin, what are you doing up there? <laughs> well, I don't think it's yours anymore. The bird took his bread. So the one bird has grown to a few more birds. Are you liking this, Charlie? in every corner of the ocean, from the Arctic to the Atlantic. This whale's story is the ocean's story. Their blowhole is perfectly designed for getting a quick breath at the surface. We're gonna go through this big gate back here. We're gonna get to see where the rescue animals come because Whoa. here in San Diego, we have a lot of sea animals that are actually local. They live here. They live around San Diego, not just at SeaWorld. And so sometimes they need our help. There are things that happen to them out on the beaches or out in the ocean and they need human assistance and that's where SeaWorld comes in. Whoa. I'm gonna turn it. Together, yep. Nice. Alright. I go over here and throw it over. There it comes. Oh look at that, there the they come. might take a few too. Their legs, they bend kind of in the middle there. And most people will think that, oh, that's their knee. But in reality, that joint on their leg is their ankle. And the whole lower half of what appears to be their leg is their foot. Wow. 
we're about to go in our aqua lab. When we go in, it's very important that we are listening and that we're following directions. Sound good? All right. Good deal? Yes, sir. High five. Ow. Ow. Still don't feel it. Ow. I don't know, man. <laughs> you gotta hit the weights. <laughs> this is the archer fish. Take a, a krill. We're gonna put them on a branch. Is this spinning? Oh, they're spinning them! Oh, oh wow. cool! That'd be That's cool. That's awesome. Oh. <laughs> Sit him on top of your hand. And he's going to give your hand a hug. Do you see how he's kind of relaxing already? He's sagging a little bit more. This is the coolest thing ever. This is so awesome. Don't touch the tentacles or you'll get paralyzed. Really? No, I'm just kidding. Getting ready to check out some penguins. Okay, this is the last ride of the day. The park is almost closed. But we wanted to have one more ride before we went home. Are you excited for the last uh, yes. ride? <laughs> oh, look, there's like dots on the floor. You have to stand on one of these dots, I think. Okay, Becca, uh, right hand, red dot. Good job. Okay, left hand, blue dot. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Corbin's got it right. There you go, that's the idea. Buckle up, buckle up. Good job. Are you excited? Is this gonna be a wild ride? Yeah. Are you excited, baby? This is Captain Emerson of White Where are we, Corbin? Wild Arctic? Yeah, we're on a helicopter. That's why it's called Wild Arctic. <laughs> that was really fun. What would you think, James? Great. Great? Wasn't scary. Wasn't scary? <laughs> Is that ice? This was the amazing thing to me when I actually went to SeaWorld. All I thought it was, was truthfully, uh, pretty much an aquarium. I didn't realize that there were rides. I was so happy when one of the orcas splashed Corbin. <laughs> I really was. It surprised me so much. It was really, really fun. Also, being able to see the behind the scenes, was actually really cool too. How about you, Becca? What was your favorite part, probably? I hated all of it. <laughs> How? <laughs> no, really, what was your favorite part? The birds. The and, and Charlie. Charlie, oh yeah. Charlie. <laughs> That's actually really true. If you noticed the other day, I don't know if Michael kept it in, but it was really, really funny. He had some grapes in a bowl and he turned and he accidentally spelled, spilled the bowl. This is when we were at the beach and the seagulls picked up his grapes and flew away and he started yelling, you stole my food. He was like, no! 
Yeah. That's mine! Yeah. And then today, and he started yelling at them again, yep. which was so cute. I put this on 12 hours ago. And you can tell it's starting to come off. Especially on like, the inner parts of the, the yeah, lips. Yeah, if I go like this, mm -hmm. you can tell where it's coming off. But like for having it on for 12 hours and not thinking about it or reapplying gloss or anything, that's amazing. That's lip sense for you. So today we haven't found anything yet, actually. So, so we're just over here watching... Movies a little what? bit, what? And staying around the house. Oh, and it's Rebecca's birthday. Okay, so there were no clues in the house, so we thought maybe if we got loaded up in the van, we'd find something. Not only get loaded up, but actually clean oh, out the van, because it's no, been disgusting. Yes, yes, when you live out of a van for so long, it starts to get really bad. So everybody is looking right now. We're trying to see if we can find something. I've looked in all the usual places up here, behind the TV. Did you guys look underneath your seats or around your seats or anything? Please, it's a clue under Charlie's seat. Let's look under Charlie's seat. Oh, I found it! What? what? <laughs> you found one? Can I read it? Is it open? <laughs> Can I read it? Oh, it's never been open. Can I guess I this is it. it? Uh, we're gonna let Mama read it. Okay, um, everybody get buckled. Make sure you guys are all buckled up. Alrighty. Every day you spend together making memories and fun, the message of Treasure Family grows. Today we celebrate with you two major events. Rebecca has had another birthday! Happy birthday! Today also marks 1,000 days of daily vlogging! Whoa! A thousand days! Enjoy a day of fun, not at a berry farm. Not is underlined. Underlined. It. <laughs> not, and it's not spelled weird. Not berry farm. Not berry ah! farm. Not berry farm. Is there a place called Not Berry Farm? Not Berry Farm is a theme park. All right, let's go. Not Berry Farm That's sounds cool. like some sort of yogurt company. It sounds like a yogurt. I think of the Red Barn. <laughs> so we're over the top of all the other roads right now. Really, really cool. So we're on our way to Knott's Berry Farms. Where am I Roller coaster's coming. We're underneath the roller coaster right now. The body in the woods, that's how you go. Oh, it's humid. Oh, that's the bathroom over there. This is really cool. General George Washington's flintlock pistol. <laughs> this is the craziest thing. I had no idea that they had even Knott's Berry Farm. It's so cool. It's such a cool place. I really like it. Are you guys excited? I 
realized it was a do it yourself ride. That's, that's cool. Good job, <laughs> push it, 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 push it. Let's do this ride. Yeah, go, 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 go. It's so funny. I did not realize they were going to be pushing and pulling to go. That's adorable. Go, 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 go. Go, 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 go. minutes ago. Hands up! Hands up! Hands up! Hands up! Y'all jiggling our arms! Oh, sorry. Sorry. When we're sticking our arms up, that doesn't mean you can tickle them. Oh. For your safety, please remain seated. <laughs> <laughs> now we're on the ship. Are you ready? Michael and we were walking past this and Ellie said mom I want to go in this creepy house check out this creepy house, yeah, it's a big house. <laughs> that's a pretty creepy no, house actually it's not, it's not creepy. yeah on the inside it doesn't look too scary huh but on the outside it is scary because <laughs> <laughs> of all the parks I've ever been to, and I've been to a lot, so far this park, Knott's Berry Farm, has been the very best one for family friendly. What did you just do? I went on the log ride and, and I came out that skeleton right there and I went down and there's like monsters, zombies, skeletons, and it's really cool. And I hate it, the music because it's really good. <laughs> <laughs> so we're all on a ride. We haven't all been on a ride once yet, all together yet. This is exciting, I can't wait. Oh Lord! <laughs> Keep your hands inside. Corbin, it might get a little scary. Are those real fish? Those are real fish? Oh, look at that.
of us right there. Right there. <laughs> Look at James. Look at James's face. <laughs> Let's hear a re re. My voice hurts. It was like. Ah! 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 That was it. No, that was it. Man, you guys started crying. I got video of you guys. No, we were in the front. Good so, job being in the front. So funny. You gotta see your faces though. <laughs> um. <laughs> the thing that I like about this place is every little nook and cranny. Instead of just leaving a blank wall, they put something on it. It makes it really cool looking. Yeah. Like back there, there was a fire station thing that it just was painted on, but it still looked great. Yeah. I love that you can go on rides with everybody. Yeah, this me too. Awesome. You don't have to feel like, oh man, somebody has to stay behind and not have fun. Yeah. To take care of a kid or just the kids that yeah, don't have fun. Yeah, everybody can go. It's yeah. like so fun. Going to your favorite restaurant for your first day dinner and dessert. Yeah! Well, I my two favorite restaurants are Wingers and Chili's, and we're going to Chili's because I go to Chili's for dessert. Molten lava cake. It's a birthday tradition. It's my birthday dessert. She breaks her rules because she has, she normally does no sugar, no dairy, no gluten, and she's I'm breaking all die. three of those rules tonight. It's gonna and hurt. I can you have tell. to promise you're not gonna get sick because it's not worth it getting sick over. Got it? I'm gonna. It is worth getting sick no, over. No, it's not. Getting, it totally is. If you get sick, you're in trouble. Okay. And you're not allowed to have okay, any more I, birthday parties. I promise I will not get sick. Okay. If you do, you're not getting any more birthday cake next year. <laughs> Sorry, but whatever. You know, I get it. whatever I want. <laughs> Knott's Berry Farm has won a place in my heart, and I Absolutely. will be back. I think it won a place in all of our hearts. In fact, yeah. we've been talking nonstop about how this park is better than any of the other parks we've ever been to, in my honest opinion. I'm not just saying that. I, think I it, really believe that. I think that this one is the best amusement park. It's got something for all ages. Yes. It's got something for old people. It's got something for babies. It's got something for families with kids. It's got something for you teenagers don't, you and adults. You don't feel like left out at yeah, this park. There's nothing, there's nothing you can't participate in. It was in. so fun. And there's so think, many rides. It's like yeah. non-stop rides. I love it. Yeah, that was so fun. Because that's why I go to theme parks. It's for the rides. For not the rides. for the shopping or the food as much as the rides. Right. Yeah, that was so fun. Well, somebody is just plain pooped. <laughs> he was just like, oh. but he's like having fun. I was worried that he was dehydrated, but I think he's okay. He's just acting exactly. funny. Are you pooping? Just kidding. <laughs> Happy birthday and welcome! It's my birthday! This is gonna be good, I can tell.
morning everyone. How are you guys today? I'm excited. It was an awesome day yesterday. And the kids are just up and getting ready, getting breakfast right now. There's been a little bit of fighting this morning. I think that sometimes it's tough being all together cooped up in one small area Hello. for a long time. Hi Corbin. I want to tell you guys something. And that's that when Ryan told me to do something, I said yes Ryan and I did it. Good boy. And it was good. But have you always been good on this trip? No. Are you trying your best? Yes. Okay. Don't we you, Lada? Yeah. I love that. It's important that everybody's oh, not. Oh, oh. What? <laughs> I found this in the fridge. What? <laughs> I found three clues in a row. Was that in the fridge before? No. It just appeared there? Are you sure? Yeah, I opened the fridge to get the regular milk and it wasn't there. And then I went to put the regular milk back in to get the almond milk that this was there. What? Can I read it? Can I let's go show it to mom. Can I read it? No, let's go show it to mom. Oh, it's oh, a fridge! Whoa, yeah, good job! Can I read it? Mom, mom! It's a fridge! It's Can a fridge! Can I read it? Can I read, read it? Read it. Together. We're gonna have mom read it, I think. She already she, read it. She hasn't read one in a while. Hey, Ryan, come here. She you read, read it yesterday. yesterday. Do you know where Jessica is? She's, she's in the pool. Oh, she's down in the pool. Okay. She read it yesterday. Well, mom is my favorite. So she gets to read it. What are we doing today? What if we go to Disneyland? Again? Or? Heroes of the Fourth Dimension. Woohoo! Go. You must go now. Go where? Pack up all of your things and leave at once. The enemies of Treasure Family have become aware and are trying to stop your goodness. <gasps> what? Stay true, be swift, get out. More instruction is coming soon. Mom? Does that mean we need to leave here? Yeah. Mom? Right now! Right now, everybody get ready. Okay. Wow. Okay. Let me see that. Poopy. Oh, go, you must go now. Pack up your things and leave at once. The enemies of Treasure Family have become aware and are trying to stop your great That's goodness. Scary. That is really scary. Go start packing your stuff. Go finish your breakfast, James. It said in the note, we have to get going. It said, go now. Yeah. <laughs> you, you, woo. You're so fast. Okay, let's go. We are in full packing and moving mode. We're getting out of here as quick as we can. We've got the cooler loaded. We're cooking some of our freezer food because we didn't realize that we would have to leave. Getting the kitchen packed up. Are you ready to go? Yeah. Okay, we gotta get out of here quick. We got bags packed over here. Focusing on getting everything out, getting everything clean. So we've already gone through all these rooms. We've got all the dirty clothes in this bag. Plain and simple, we were not expecting to be leaving today. We thought we had all week, so we're getting out as quick as we can. We haven't seen anybody or anything bad yet, but we're in a hurry and we're going as fast as possible. Did it. Okay, lock it up. Yeah, lock it up, let's go. We gotta get out of here quick. All right, let's go. I love this place. I love this place too. I have too. never had a more comfortable stay at any place. I don't want to go right now either, but we have to. We got everything out of the hotel. We're all checked out. Let's get this thing loaded up right. and then let's hit the road. So we hopped in the van. Everybody's loaded up and we decided that we needed gas before we did anything else. And then my phone randomly turned on and started navigating to a place. I'm not sure why it turned on, but immediately afterwards we found a note right next to the phone. Please. I'm gonna read it real fast and Ow. see where, what it says. Okay. I think Dad's reading this one. I'm gonna read this one, guys. It says, go here. Follow these directions. You'll be safe here. Keep your location secret. What? So mysterious. Heroes of the fourth dimension. Wow. So, I would tell you guys where we're going, but I guess... We can't. Yeah, I guess we can't say where we're going. That's really interesting. But it's a couple hours away. All Let's right. see what happens when we get there, I guess. Okay, let's go. We got kicked out of where we were staying because all of a sudden it wasn't safe anymore. I think it's very important that that everybody in the family is respectful and kind and patient with each other. Maybe we might see bad guys going towards the hotel we are just at and they don't know what our car looks like and we pass them and then they're like, at the hotel and they open it and they see other people and I'm like, oh sorry, excuse me, I'm going back out and I'll go look for the person. Maybe. We are going 
similar of a location. And you guys can't know this location. Dad is the only one who knows it, so he did not tell us. Looks like we're now at a new place. Okay, does that say what room we're in? 109. Okay, let's go check it out. Charlie, right here. 109. Now try it. There, there you go. go. Wow. This is our house. All right. What the? There's a note on the bed. Oh. A note. Could I read? Where are we going today? Can I read it? Yeah, What's go ahead. Corbin's turn. Here's on the front end. Okay. Wouldn't that be weird if we opened it and it wasn't from the heroes of the fourth dimension? Enemies of the fourth dimension. <gasps> Just kidding. <laughs> All right, let's hear it, Corbin. Thank you for heading our warning so quickly. Those who would see Treasure Family suffer in disaster. Our real kindness. What? It's kindness? Patience? Patience, love, and charity will keep you safe here. Today you will visit the largest 200 in the world. That's not 200, that's a zoo. <gasps> the largest zoo in the world. How can you help animals everywhere? Today we will visit the largest zoo in the world? Yeah. Do you guys want to go to the zoo? Yeah. All right, well then let's get packed up and go. Thank you for heeding our warning so quickly. Those who would see Treasure Family suffer and disappear are real. Kindness, patience, love, and charity will keep A you safe fridge. here. Today you will visit the largest zoo in the world. I've always thought this was one of the most gorgeous temples in the world. Yes. That's really pretty. That's a chameleon. Can I see? I just found it in the bushes and I and I grabbed its tail. Yeah. Wow. A bug. You want to see it? Ow. Char James. Er, yeah. yeah, James. Show Charlie. In the shade. <gasps> Woo. Yeah. Woo. Woo. Hold it. <laughs> it does change colors. Yeah. Is that cool? Uh, pandas. These guys want to see pandas. Oh yeah. Got a ticket. Look at that ticket. Woo! Looks like we have more flamingos. Welcome to Jurassic Park. So, do you want to do the bus? Uh, hmm? It doesn't shock you. What? It doesn't? <laughs> <laughs> Are you ready to go on the train? This is going to be fun! Okay, go on in. Go ahead. This is going to be fun! We're going up! Woo -hoo -hoo -hoo. I think it looks like a hairy oh, Corbin. No. no, I'm not. Oh, wait, hairy. you already are hairy. No, 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 I just have hair. I feel much Charlie, hairy. we gotta wait. Okay. Hey, okay. monkeys. They're playing down there. Those ones are having a good time. Monkeys. Whoa. You're having so much fun. Don't bang the window. That's disrespectful. Cool. He's sleeping. Look right there. Can you see his belly moving up and down? He's breathing. See the hippo? Or Davy and Bobby yes. the And there's a little Davy one next to it. See you see the baby one? Can I see the picture over here. Can I see? Oh, I can see the hippo. Can you see the baby one too? Whoa! Did you guys find the hippo? Hey, sit on it. I want a hippopotamus for Christmas. I want to get a picture of Only you guys. a hippopotamus will do. Everybody sit on the hippo. Look at Don't me. Don't want a doll. No, it's Can a you pull Charlie up with you, James? I want a hippopotamus to play with and enjoy. Right. Right, everybody, 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 everybody. We got a tiger. <gasps> a tiger? That, that's not for you. That's for Grandma and Grandpa. All right. Can I All right, now do another one. I'm doing it. I'm doing it. I don't have a 
<gasps> what kind did you get? Ooh, we got <gasps> we got a crocodile. <gasps> We are by the panda. Look in there, it's eating some bamboo. I see it. Do you see it? It's having some dinner. You guys wanted to see some bears. Those are some big bears. What just happened? What just happened? She heard Char they heard Charlie crying, so they wanted to give him some candy. <gasps> That's so sweet. No, these are for baby Charlie. Aww. It's a candy for you. Are you gonna eat it? <laughs> he wants to hold it himself. <laughs> Oh, he's gonna sit down and just have a snack. Yeah. Okay, perfect. You yeah. finally gonna be happy. Hey, Eat it. A yummy? Oh, good, huh? Yeah. <laughs> Second lap around the whole thing. <laughs> you like exercise, right? <laughs> so, Ryan, what happened? Where are you at? I'm at number 10. Oh, we're over here. The hippo trail. <laughs> so you guys went like this or something, and somehow I went like this. I'm on the panda trail. <laughs> and now I'm right here again. Oh wow! We went on the panda trail. Are you happy? Yeah! Oh, <laughs> it's a bear butt. Uh, oh my goodness! People are seeing me naked. <laughs> Get out of here, people! I'm taking our bath. So I was running around with that, just with it empty. <laughs> and I was trying to get to you. Like, I was running, 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 running. And like a lady like, stopped me like, oh, you lost the baby! Really? Yeah, because it was just empty and I was running with it really fast. Somebody stopped you and said you a lost lady. the baby? Yeah. Oh, wow. And so I was like, oh. <laughs> oh, yeah. And then I just explained to her, it's like, I have to go over there to give my, to my sister. She has a baby. <laughs> uh, so Somebody actually then, stopped. Where did they look? People, did they people, look people, really worried? Well, she was worried. She's like, she thought that I'd been running and the baby just flopped out and I'd been running <laughs> and continued. And then the other person, there's another people that was like, I was walk, going like this and then they'd look at me and then they'd look at, down at that and they'd kind of go like that and peel away. They're like, crazy guy running with no kid. <laughs> Are you tired? No. Oh, do you want me to lay it back for you? <laughs> it's so cute. It's a killing machine. That's so cool. And one, two, three. Look, a zebra. Hey, look, a zebra. That's so cute. That's so cute. Great job pooping. <laughs> He's pooping all over his house. Yeah. Right. Look at this. Can I smell Look it? At... Whoa, I've never seen this. Peaches before. or apples or mixed plant? between. Smell it. Can I smell my... It does. Okay. It does. It's very sweet it smell. There's it fruit. It smells like... Can I smell it? I'm gonna smell it. What? Yeah. Does it really this... does smell like a peach. Or... I just farted. <laughs> That's gross. <laughs> That's what you're smelling. Right? Okay, that actually smells good. Smell it. This is an aloe plant, I think. Smell it. It's like a palm fruit There's or something. It came from down from that oh, palm wow. tree up there. This is an aloe plant. <gasps> oh, I yeah. This is a really big aloe plant. Ryan, did you smell it? Mm -hmm. Yeah. What does it smell like? I yummy. Smell it. I, I need it. Smell it. Stuff that joke, you potty pooper, mouthy, whatever okay. joke maker. Yeah. <laughs> Sometimes it's amazing to me how hard it is to actually find these animals even when they're in a tiny cage. And it's like, no wonder I never see them out in the wild, right? Right. It's so hard. What do you think of this post? Hanging out at the San Diego Zoo with some wild animals. Oh, and the zebra too. Shot taken seconds before it pooped all over the place. Classy. <laughs> what animal should we go see next? <laughs> That's funny. Michael's always really good with words. Sometimes he's the one that has to respond to comments and people that want to like do stuff with us because he's better with words and writing than I am. Thanks. And taking cool pictures. Go follow us on Instagram guys. <laughs> at Beach House Vlogs and you get cute pictures like zebras pooping on my kids. <laughs> That's its dinner tonight. Just kidding, I don't know. These are one of my favorite, favorite animals in the world. It's sleeping with its head up in that most uncomfortable position ever. The now? There's the koala and its eucalyptus drugs. Okay, we're going on a bus tour. We barely made it in barely. time. Barely. We Before all they ran. Close. 
But we're going to the top level of the bus. I've never been on a double decker bus before. Double decker bus! This is cool. Whoa! Cool. Look at that! Double decker bus! That's what we're riding. Ours is blue though. What do you think about being on a double decker bus? Well, I'm the top of it. We're on the top of it, that's right. James, what do you think, dude? Cool. Is that pretty awesome? I don't think I I've ever been on the bottom of the floor. Oh, you found a map? Cool. Well, we got the whole gang here. Charlie says he's ready. All Let's right. Now that we're ready, are you ready, Charlie? Oh, okay, Charlie's ready. Hey, keep your head in the bus, okay? I don't want you to fall out. That's a long way down. That is massive. Woo! Why does that pose remind me of you, Michael? Yeah. <laughs> Hug Ellie! Good! Yeah, oh, now it's the adult's turn! You look pretty tired, dude. He's like falling asleep. Michael, yeah. I finally got looks like one. looks like Ellie's taking some oh, animals it's home it's with it's her, huh? It just grabbed onto Are her. Are you taking the animal home with you? Yeah. It grabbed onto her and it won't let go, so I guess we have to take it home. You got a pet, huh? I was going out of one of the exits and there was a pole right there, but it happened to be padded, so I thought probably people have walked into this, like straight into this, and they needed it to be padded so they didn't get hurt. Because people kept bumping yeah, right I into really it. Yeah, I think so. Just da 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 da. Yeah. <laughs> ah, ah. It was only padded up to where a person would like be height wise. <laughs> Charlie was falling asleep as we were leaving the park. Goodbye San Diego Zoo. This place was really awesome. Wait, wait. We got to do the bus tour. We got to ride the sky pram thing. We got to go see all the animals that we wanted to see on our list. It was an awesome day. Well, I think we look like a pretty tired Everybody bunch run. if you ask me. <laughs> Honestly, this is run, run, probably run, run. the least tired I've been. From all and the Ryan's still there. running, of course. Good morning. We've had a good night last night. It was a little bit crowded, but I think I like to call it cozy. We all got to sleep nice and close together. How did you sleep? Good. Do you know where we're going, Ellie? Yeah, to the pool. Nope, we're not going to the pool. We're not going there. We're going right up here and then go into this room with the door that's open. It's breakfast. <laughs> yeah. yeah. You guys want Fruit Loops, huh? Yeah. Okay, here's bowls. So each of you get a bowl and you can have some Fruit Loops. And then here's some milk too that you can have with it. How's your Fruit Loops? So good. You love it? Yeah. Good. Hey guys, this boy was talking to you, does lots of tricks, and I'm gonna introduce him to you guys so he can show some tricks. I think you should come into lighting because it's more that I can see you better. Chris, you got there. Whoa, that's a good one. Did you get enough breakfast? Yeah. Good. Oh, there goes Charlie. How are you, baby girl? Good. Get enough to eat? Egg. That's the only gluten-free thing. Um, I got an orange too, but it tasted terrible. Yeah, sometimes the food here is not amazing. Not the freshest, huh? Can you open up the hotel room door for me? You're the keeper of the keys, huh? I have the key. You do have the key. I love having continental breakfast. It's a wonderful thing being able to have all the breakfast that we could possibly want. All right, open the door for me, dude. Oh! <gasps> what? What is that? It's a note. You found a note? Yeah, I just dude, found a note right here. We gotta go open it with the family. Oh, well, show them. Well, I think we should let Jessica open it because she hasn't opened one in a long time. I you opened it last night. Last night? Yeah, you opened up the last one. Read it nice and loud. You did well escaping the danger that nearly overtook you yesterday. Remember that danger is always near you. If you stop showing kindness to your family today, your family will travel to a land of building blocks. 
where you will build your memories. Make the good memories last. Last day. Make them good memories. Last day. Sounds Heroes like of the fourth dimension. Mm -hmm. like building blocks. Huh? Sounds like Legoland. That's where I'm going today. That's where you're going today. Oh, That's where we're going today. Whoa. <laughs> That's cool. Are you guys ready to go? Legoland. Oh, Legoland. oh my goodness! There's a Legoland. Oh. They're all over the place, guys. Oh. Look right there. There's oh. Lego everywhere. Ah. This is gonna be good. I can tell. <laughs> Yay! Becca, it's your first visit to Legoland. Yay! We all got one. All those are Legos. <laughs> Are you excited to go on some rides? What's the opposite of right? I don't know. Left! <laughs> Did you like that ride? Yeah! <laughs> you gonna give me a kiss? <laughs> Are you gonna go run in the water? Ah! <laughs> Corbin took off his shirt and his shoes so that he could run in the water and then the water turned off the second that he ran out there. <laughs> They used every brick in this house and they built this cool castle. It's very cool. Help, but your princess is in another castle. If you look very close, you can see the beach family on the top of that tour. Well, well, there they are. We got pizzas coming in just a minute. Mmm, got some pizza over here, huh? Alrighty, so we're here eating pizza, enjoying ourselves. And you know what? Everything is awesome. It really is. Everything is cool when you're part of a team. That's true. Everything is awesome when you're living our dream. Okay guys, we just met the coolest girl ever and today's her birthday and her name is Cassidy and she watches the vlog. Yay! So, so everybody sing happy birthday to her right now. Go ahead. Happy birthday to you. <laughs> Congratulations. Have a happy birthday. Mm -hmm. Happy birthday, happy birthday. Race it, one handle handlebar. There. Oh. 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 Are you coming yet? 
He got so into it that he couldn't even leave. He's so excited. I'm praying for him right there. Awesome, Emmett. Do you want to go do the ghost cruise? <laughs> yeah, let's do it. Okay, ghost cruise. Follow my YouTube channel, Happy Sprinkle Puppy Girl. Everybody reach up their hands to try catching him. Everybody reach up your hands. Oh, So we decided that we needed to spend one last evening at the beach. We just enjoyed watching the sunset for the last time on the west coast during this trip. Tomorrow morning we leave early. We're gonna go visit some friends of ours who found... Ah! The water's really, really aggressive right here. We're gonna go visit some friends of ours who found something interesting and we're gonna go check it out tomorrow. So that's where we're heading. We thought we'd come visit the beach one last time. The kids are loving it. The water's great. The waves are big. We're just having a good time. Becca's over there. Charlie's taking a nap. He's very tired. Long day at Legoland. Wiped him out. Oh, 